Welcome, welcome everyone, you guys. Thanks for waiting for me for like four minutes. This is the new filming room. Yes, you guys. I was going to put my earrings in, but totally forgot. I'm so glad you guys are here. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, everyone. What's up, YouTube? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator, and welcome to the grand reopening Got to turn down that ad. Welcome to the grand reopening of the Bunny Birdie Gator Store. We are now here in Las Vegas. Um, I kind of wanted to show you guys the chaos in this room for now because I really want you guys to give me ideas and help me put the room together. But as of right now, I was like, you know what? I need to start. I need to start. Like, I have so much to do. But um, as of right now, I don't really have much of a setup. Um, this is kind of the little area here where I'm going to be showing you guys most of the stuff. Um, I have this little area here, um, that I have some products on right now. Um, it's really a mess though right now, you guys. Um, I probably want to do some shelving. I'm going to do one to two rolling racks with some clothing. Um, I am also sharing the space with kitties. So you might see a cat or two come in here. And then right now I have a lot of inventory over here, pretty messily, including over here. Um, but yeah, this is the Bunny Birdie Gator store slash filming room as of right now. It's chaotic, you guys. I haven't opened the store since June 1st. It's kind of nice to be on a chair. I can just kind of take you guys around, you know. Um, I have the door cracked just so the kitties could come in if they need to. Probably going to get rid of that table. I might get rid of this white rolling rack. I like how it matches, but it doesn't go as high as I want. I have another rolling rack over there with some clothes. And yeah, you guys, we're going to try to turn this into a really cute space. But yeah, for now, I have my brand new chair and I have a, a brand new desk and I'm probably gonna get another desk or two for shipping. So welcome everyone. I've missed you guys so, so much. Um, I'm not quite as organized as normal. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> but we're gonna try to get through tonight, you guys. I have a lot of items to offer you guys tonight. I have um, a tote of Pioneer Woman items. I have um, boxes of Sharpies. I have some um, skincare. I have some like scented um, things like the slimy sand, really good sensory play. I have a couple Play-Doh kits. Um, I have some new storage bins that I just found at Dollar Tree. I have um, some really pretty pink fuzzy covers, pillow covers that I got at Ikea. It's like super, super plush. I don't know if I can open them. I think they're totally sealed. It's like a furry, really pretty. Um, I had, uh, I took a picture of Gator holding one and it's just so like fuzzy and nice. Jess says, hey, perfect storm. Jess is here, Bree's here. Looking down at my um, computer, you guys. Terilyn's here. I hope you're feeling good, Terry, from that surgery. Um, really happy you're here. I kind of wanted to start last week, but I really wanted you to be here. Um, and because you've been a part of it since the beginning. And I was like, yeah, I think next week will be better. So if at any point you have to go or um, get some rest, I know maybe you may or may not be taking medication still. So if you have to go, I understand, but I love you so much. You're such an amazing moderator. Janet's here, Tanisha's here, Ron and Robin. Hi, you guys. Um, we're in Las Vegas now. Uh, Leanne, Janet, who else is here? TJ. Hey, TJ. Shatika's here. Hi, Shatika. Hi, Charlotte Lalon. I think you might be new, Charlotte. Welcome. Who else is here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Diane is here. Hi, Diane. If I missed anyone, 
Hi, I'm glad you're here. Please comment so I can say hi to you. So glad you guys are here. Looks like Trixie Blue was here a little bit before the uh, before the live started. Two more days left until fall season, says Tanisha. Yes. Um, okay, you guys, well, let's get into it. I think the kitties left. I might shut the door. I don't know. It's kind of echoey here, um, here in the room. And I think... I think that uh, once we fill it up with some furniture, hey Mandy, once we fill it up with some furniture, hopefully it won't be as echoey. Can't believe how quick you got kicked out of that store for filming yesterday, even though you were just on the phone, they weren't buying it at dead giveaway. I know I was like, I'm on the phone, but he wasn't going for it. Yeah, I got kicked all the way out of Dollar General Market yesterday. I really wanted to take you guys in. And I have to say that the whole left, side of the store um, is an actual grocery store. Might see a little cat hair flying. I swept, but you know, we have all, um, we have no carpet in this house, so the cat hair is flying. Uh, Ron wants to know how you've been surviving the heat. We've been doing good. Ron, it was pretty hot when we got here uh, towards the end of July, but um, we stayed, we stayed nice. Nice and, uh, nice and refrigerated in our hotel that we ended up staying in for almost three weeks before we found this place. Um, but yeah, um, back to Dollar General Market really quick, you guys. I am super impressed with the produce prices. Since I got here to Las Vegas, I was looking for affordable produce, um, you know, fruits and vegetables, potatoes, all sorts of different things like that. And I really wasn't finding them in Walmart Smith's or Albertsons, um, which is where I've been shopping. And so I went there yesterday for the first time. Sorry, you guys kind of using this as a mirror. I went there yesterday for the first time and I was really impressed. The pears, aw, Sinead O'Connor. I used to like Sinead O'Connor. Um, RIP Sinead O'Connor. Um, Tanisha, Tanisha knows all the goods on all the famous stars. You are, our, you are our celebrity expert. Hey, Jasma, Winco is great. Yes, perfect storm. Um, I went to Winco a lot when we first got here. We don't have one uh, nearby where I'm at right now, but I was going to Winco a lot. But I feel like a lot of the stores, you have to shop the deals if you wanna get produce for an affordable price. And I feel like uh, Dollar General Market probably has a lot of those, it's mommy, you guys has a lot of good prices on a real regular basis. I got plums, I got uh, yellow uh, onions, red onions, um, celery for a dollar. Um, they just had really, really good prices there. So I'll probably be going there once a week. Who knows, maybe the manager will warm up or maybe I'll contact corporate as he suggested and see if I can get permission to film in there for you guys because the deals were great. Anyways, you guys, let's get started. I have a lot of stuff. Um, week by week, uh, hopefully you'll see the room come together a little bit better. Right now, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty makeshift. Yeah, Diane. I, Justine! Hi, Justine. I'm missing Aldi so bad right now. I really am. Like, I'm really, really missing it. Um, oh, that's so good. Terrilyn. That's great. Got the drain valve off, back off. And on and October 4th, you'll be able to drive again. I know you're going to look forward to that. Well, let me know, Terrilyn, if there's anything you need me to pick up for you. If you happen to be shopping with me already and you need some things, um, please let me know if there's anything I can throw in your box for you that you may need since you're waiting to drive. But hey, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I don't know. Like, I was thinking we could do it on the desk or maybe I could just hold things up. Um, I definitely wanna be in my videos more often. The background is not good. Like I have all my lighting actually set up to show things on the desk, but maybe we'll tog toggle around with bigger things. My desk is definitely smaller than the counter I had before, but I'm starting with this desk and I'm probably gonna get one of those standing uh, electric desks, you know, where you can stand and work or you can sit down, but. To be honest, it feels really great to sit down because that whole 14 months of me running the store, I never sat down. I stood up and standing for three, four hours at a time is pretty exhausting. 
Um, so it kind of feels, uh, kind of feels great to, to just sit here. Yeah, this is the, uh, Justine, you just came in. The room is a mess right now. All I truly have is um, my chair and my desk. That's, that table's gonna go away. I'm gonna get another working table for the thermal printer, for the scale. Um, I have a couple rolling racks. These are some things I just moved right before the auction. Have the door right here. So this is our, our little area right here here um, where we're going to be working. We have the gray hardwood floors. I really love the gray and white. Um, but yeah, this is going to be, we're going to turn this into a cozy space. So you guys let me know what sort of, um, if you have any ideas, uh, DM me. If you see any cute Pinterest stuff, um, let me know. You guys, I want to make this cozy. I might want to get a love seat in here. I don't know, because I let the cat sleep in here at night. This is kind of their downstairs basement. Like, you guys remember my other house? I was always up and down, letting them in the basement. So I call this the basement so they understand that this is their room at night. And they come in here uh, at night. Roy. Hey, Roy. No, I have not met Sin City family. I love their content. I've been a very loyal uh, subscriber and viewer um, of them for about a year and a half now, maybe a little more. I haven't met them yet. To be honest, you guys have only gone out twice since we've been here. Um, so yeah, it would be really awesome to meet them in real life. But I'm just kind of trying to get settled in. As you guys can see, we're still not settled in. You really don't want to see my garage. I have a lot of inventory in there. Diane asks, is your new house smaller or larger than your Minnesota home? This house is definitely larger. This house is almost three times larger than our last home. Um, yeah, almost three times larger with a two car garage. Um, as we get the house put together, if you guys have interest, I'll definitely give you guys a tour. But pretty much the whole house is like, the ceilings are like this. We have this kind of um, nice beigey tan color. The flooring's like this with the thick molding. Sorry, you guys have the litter box in here, but um, I do let the cats, I do share the room with the cats. The flooring is like this throughout the house. It's a two story. Um, the blinds are all this nice material here, bright white blinds. They're just the sort of blinds you pull up and take down. All the um, cupboards and doors are white. And it's, um, I think you call this, what is it called you guys? Not, we don't have any sharp corners. I think it's called, what is it? Bold. I don't know, is it called bull nose or <laughs> what is it called you guys where we don't have any sharp corners, it's all curved corners in the entire house. I don't know what that's called. Do you guys know what that's called? I know my husband knows what it's called, but I don't know. I don't know what it's called you guys. Um, yeah, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just gonna uh, do the best I can. Bull nose, yeah, all the, yeah, bull nose, bull nose walls, or I don't know. <laughs> I think there's like 15, 17 stairs to go up. Um, yeah, and the backyard has a pomegranate tree that has fruit on it. Um, we have some big rocks in the backyard, a little um, like stone walkway with a bunch of like uh, pebbles or stones. Um, we have a, one, a big palm tree, kind of one of those big ones that just sit on the ground, not the big ones with the trunk. And then we have some other little bushes. Um, yeah. Yeah, the pomegranate tree is really nice. It's, um, I don't think it's in season quite yet, so maybe around Christmas time, if the pigeons don't come and eat them, um, hopefully we'll have some pomegranates, which we love. We love eating the arils, like I love the Arils. They kind of give me a head rush though. I think just they just have a lot of sugar in them. But yeah, you guys, let's get started. Um, what do you guys, I mean, the background is not cute at all right now. What would you guys prefer? Do you guys, um, would you prefer just looking down at the item up close? That way I can kind of zoom in and zoom out. Or do you guys want to like stay like this? Okay, just, just let me know what you prefer. I'm, I'm okay either way, even though I forgot to put my earrings in and I 
really uh, have a little bit of mascara on a tiny bit. I actually went to sleep super late last night and I was very bad and didn't take my mascara off. I washed my face with Cetaphil, but I didn't take my mascara off. Oh, Anthony's here. Hey, Anthony. Janet's here. Ah, uh, Roy, is Roy here? Oh, uh, thanks, Jess. Yeah, I'm wearing a Five Below shirt, you guys. It says Lucky on it. And I'm just wearing some Shein um, shorts. And I'm wearing my, oh my gosh, you guys, look at my Crocs. They're a little bit dirty, I was just outside. Look at my Crocs, you guys. These are my Crocs from Timu. I finally decorated them. We have um, Mommy on here, of course, Justine. I had that Care Bear when I was little. Flowers and Pearls, Ladybug. You guys know why I have the Ladybug on here. If you're an OG, you know why I have the Ladybugs on here. I love the little um, flowers. It's like a Japanese designer. I love hearts. I think that might be a Bad Bunny heart. Um, I had a cat named Puka once that was white. Um, I Again, I love hearts and pink, so I have that Care Bear on there and the flowers and pearls. Some of them are iridescent. Yes, and here comes Oscar, says Tanisha. How did you know, Tanisha? Tanisha just summoned Oscar. Aw, oh, did you guys miss your buddy? Mwah. Oh, Oscar, mwah. did you miss everyone? You did? You did? Aw. Oscar was um, traveling in the car with us the whole time. Yep. He was on the road trip as well as the cats and they did really, really well. Mwah. Yeah, you guys like my little fake Crocs? Those are from Timu, which I have a code down below, um, a Timu code. Those are the Timu uh, Crocs. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. It's like a light blue. I like them, they're comfortable. My other Crocs are my Bunny Birdie Gator slides, and I have three bunnies in them that Crocs, well, that Peeps sent me. They did a collab with Crocs three Easter's ago, and, and um, I've been wearing those quite a bit too. Yeah, I like those a lot. They're bright pink. Okay, you guys, so what should we do? Should we just, aw, oh, Justine says, gonna miss the ladybug randomly appearing on the screen. Let's get started, you guys. Let's get this party started. Um, what do you guys think? You want to look at the table? You want to look at me? I don't care. Whatever you choose, I won't be offended. Um, the desk is just a bright white. It's, I, I'm, I'm going to be a little rusty tonight, you guys. What do you guys want to do? Let's start with some Pioneer Woman stuff. I got some Pioneer Woman stuff. I have a whole tote of Pioneer Woman stuff, actually. Some of the stuff's kind of bulky. I have like three or four different products. I picked these up the other day. Sweet Life. Is my mirroring right, you guys, or is it flipped? Does it say Sweet Life or is it backwards? Yeah, these are the little, um, these are the little, what are they calling these? Delaney Linen Yard Flags. I'm good, okay, thanks you guys. Delaney linen yard yard flags and these go for $8.88 at Walmart and I'd like to just do these for five five dollars each I have a total of two three four five six and these are those little ones I believe you can buy the little yard steak um, at Dollar Tree for a dollar so it's front and back so these are $5 each, and I have a total of six of them. They're cute. I don't know, they, they could be all, all times of year, I think, if you're into the country and floral vibe, um, or you can maybe save one for next year. So these are $5 each. So if you guys are brand new and you want something, number one, you have to be registered if you're registering tonight, please tell me I just registered. I'll check the Google Forms, uh, make sure that you're actually registered. Um, and then you can just say that you want one. We don't bid on anything unless I just have one of thing, one of something, and you guys want to bid, 
we don't bid. We used to do that. And then we figured out that it would just be easier to, to just do first come first serve and say you want it. Okay. Also, you guys make sure your little red dot is pulled all the way to the right so that the chat stays up to date with the video. Okay, you guys, so these are $5 each. Okay, so you guys get to see all the behind the scenes chaos of me like showing you guys all the stuff. Okay, also I have some towels. I have the dotted striped bath towel, also by the Pioneer Woman. These are really big. Let's open them up. You guys remember those last towels that I had? Ooh, fuzzy. Um, we've been using those. I shared some at the store, but then I also have uh, been using them personally here at the house, and um, I really like them. So we have this pattern on one side, and then on this side, we have stripes. You guys know I had to grab these. Pink, uh, turquoise, a lighter turquoise, and a light blue and then we have this I need to get a mat for my chair I have um I'm on wheels here I have a little plastic mat for what's going on here I have a little plastic mat that I got from Ikea for my kids but I haven't gotten myself one yet um I was going to show you guys the edge it's a nice towel I like that we have Go to grocery outlet. Gail, uh, I haven't even looked to see if I have one here in Vegas. These are $10 each. $10 each for the Pioneer Woman towels. And should I do a count, you guys? I think I have, I have at least six of them. If you guys need an actual count, I might have more. I have three bags full, three bags full. I have three bags full. Um, one, two, let's see, look, I have three here. Let's see. Maybe I can give you guys an actual count. Four, five, six. Let's just say that I have six. I might have more, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's six without me taking them all out of the bag. So those are available for 10. Justine says, I love Grocery Outlet. I shop there all the time. I used to go to Grocery Outlet um, when I lived in Washington State. And my best friend, a lot of you guys know her, Tamika. Um, my best friend likes to shop there too. Arissa, hi Arissa. Welcome to the Bunny Birdie Gator store if you're brand new. This is a grand reopening because I lived in Minnesota and I put the store on vacation. The last time I opened the store was um, June 1st, but then we've since moved cross country and now I'm here in Las Vegas and the store is open once again. It's a live store that I run once a week. Um, and I'm considering running it twice a week. What would you, uh, what do you guys think about that? Would you guys, would you guys want to shop twice a week? And if so, what day do you think would work for you? Because I know I know sometimes Thursdays don't work for everyone. And also I was thinking, hmm, if I can run the store twice a week but only do shipping once a week, that would work good for me. So if we work something out to where that was our scenario, I think it would be pretty good. I think it would be a pretty good setup. Okay. <laughs> I have Christmas stuff, you guys, are I went to Walmart, I already saw Christmas stuff. I went to Dollar General Market, Christmas stuff is everywhere. This is a tumbler that I actually got last year. I believe it goes for $14.97. Um, it says you will got this. So if you guys get it now, you have plenty of time to use it for the holidays. It has the little lid. Um, so this is available for 10 and I only have one. I really, really love the color, it's super pretty. You will got this. I do have Christmas items for you guys. I have Yankee candles, um, the kind of tall Yankee candle, not the 
biggest one with the neck size. I don't know if I want to share, share those tonight though. Um, I'm going to wait for maybe to cool down just a little bit more, but I have a scent that I've been in love with for years. I have pink sands. Um, I have lavender. I have the pine one, the Christmas one. Yeah. I know I have another scent too. Oh, this one was like a blue. It's like a tropical scent smells really nice okay you guys um i threw these in the pioneer woman box these are available for five dollars each i have a variety of the cleaning brushes now i feel like i have fuzzies on my face you guys but i have a variety of the cleaning brushes um light blue dark blue and red these are five dollars each i have a bunch of them I just pulled six for now. If you guys see anything you'd like, please let me know. And I have a box, actually this big box you guys see right here. That's the box I'm just gonna put things in for shipping. So if you guys see something you want, please let me know so I can put it in the box. Uh-oh, there we go, dropping things already. Oh, I wonder if Joy is going to be here tonight. Those brushes are great. I love mine. I love mine too, Robin. So good. I have these um, bag clips. I am loving it, Arissa. I love it so much. I love the convenience. I love the weather. I love the hills. I love just all the shopping the new house, everything. I'm just, I'm really happy to be here. Like we really love it. We're really happy here. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Welcome. So you guys, I have, um, let's see, I bought three, one, two, three, four, five. I bought eight of these. These are available for $4 each. Kevin says my birthday's, uh, Saturday. Happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday. These are $4 each, you guys. Um, it's sort of a greenish blue color. I mean, you could totally say, you know what, these are Christmas, or you could say, you know what, these are 4th of July. I just think they're any time of the year. To me, it's a little more green than blue, so these would definitely work for Christmas items. Um, if you have some bags with your wreaths in them, or if you wanna use them as chip clips, these are available for $4 each. You get 10 clips in a bag, and again, they're from Ikea. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo? What about Cinco de Mayo, Kevin? <laughs> okay. Oh boy, these are heavy. All right, you guys. So I have some Pioneer Woman plates for you guys. This is what they look like, the Pioneer Woman plates. Yes, they're speckled and cute. They're really nice, I still have my receipt in here. They're super speckled and nice. Um, I think they're melamine, let's see, are they melamine? Um, dishwasher safe, do not use in microwave. Yes, these are melamine plates, $4 each. Yes, your grandfather's birthday is Saturday. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be 93. Happy birthday to your, your grandfather, Mandy. This is what they look like on the front. Yes. Four dollars each. I have quite a few of these, you guys. Quite a few. Um, I think I have about. I don't know. I think I have about thirty of these. Thirty. Yeah. So if you guys want to get some new plates? I gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna load these items back here in the box. 
Do I have Disney merchandise? Rachel, I have some of those um, Disney, the rainbow collection figures, those plushies. Remember the blue, like Mickey and um, Daisy, Donald, Pluto. I don't think I have many anymore. No, I don't have many anymore. Um, but yeah, I have a few of those. I haven't got any new Disney items lately. I'm looking here, up here. No, I don't have anything Disney there. Nope. I have the La La Loopsie Little. Let's grab her. La La Loopsie Little. I know it's not Disney, but she's so cute. You guys saw, probably saw this once or twice before. Sprinkle spice cookie, crumbs sugar cookie. It's the little sister and this is available for 10. Also available for 10, we have this Play-Doh rainbow twirl set available for 10. That looks so cute. So what do we get? We get, um, these are the contents. Butterfly, gingerbread, cloud, rainbow, and star. So cute. Play-Doh is such a classic toy. Hey, if the stores are starting with Christmas stuff, I was like, you know, I guess I should start pulling out some giftable stuff. So this is available for 10. The doll is available for 10. This is available for seven. This is the Slimy Sand Cotton Candy, one and a quarter pounds of moldable and stretchable um, Slimy Sand. It comes with round glitter fine silver glitter and instructions. That's available for seven. So you guys, I recently signed up to be an Amazon um, content creator slash streamer. Um, something I wanna get into. Um, they accepted me when I applied which basically means I can get on there and talk about products and have a shoppable carousel under my video um, where you guys can like shop. I can go on there live or you can watch the replay and you guys can um, buy items maybe that I'm talking about, maybe items that I tried and then I would earn a commission on those items. Um, I believe that's how it works, that it's just commission based. So that's something I might dabble around with. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it before the holidays, maybe after the holidays, I don't know. But it's something I signed up for that I wanted to let you guys know about. Jess said, that's such a cute set. Uh, Brie used to have that set. And then this set, this set is all the colors I like, you guys, right? Pink and blue, we have bubblegum scented and um, raspberry scented, and this is a lot of product. This is 2.55 pounds, so two and a half pounds. This is Compound Kings, and this is going for 15. These go for $15 in Michaels, last time I looked. So yeah, this is a big, a big bundle. Diane says, like an affiliate program? Yeah, it's an affiliate program. I've also, um, been asked to join the shopping creators program here um, on YouTube where I also do similar things to where I can link products under my video um, whether I'm showing them in the store or showing them in real life like if I purchase them and I also can be offered um, a percentage um, which I'm definitely interested in doing that way I can tag products and if you guys see the product that I'm talking about and I like have a favorite lotion or skin product or whatever it may be, you guys will be able to see it right under the video and, and click on it. And again, it's another affiliate program. So YouTube is finally trying to start 
catching up. I noticed as of like in the last six months, they're finally starting to catch up with what us shopping creators have been doing for years. Um, and they're doing it in the way, of course, where they can make money and we can make money too. So they found a way to integrate it to where they're gonna get a cut of the sale as well as the, the creator gets a cut. So I think it's a good thing. I think everyone wins. And if it's a product you're looking for that you really want, um, you know, I think it could be a good thing. Tanisha said, what, where do you get those Crocs charms from? These Croc charms came from Timu. Yep. My son Gator and I hauled these back when we were still in Minnesota on my back porch. And I had chosen multiple bags of charms. And he chose some bags of charms. I really like them. I think it was like super satisfying to pop them in. It made such a satisfying popping sound. And I thought, hmm, maybe that's something I could do on my ASMR channel, Bunny Birdie Gator ASMR, which I haven't done really anything with since I started the store and the move. So yeah, you guys, time to take a water break. Yeah. Cheers, you guys. My husband uh, uh, dropped this on the ground one time, went rolling under the car when we were staying in the hotel and I was like, no. Oh, it has marks on it. Is anyone else like that about their water bottle? Like you don't want it dented or dinged uh, like it got kind of beat up. Last time I had my um, gray one that happened, it fell out of the back of the car and the whole thing broke and got dented and got messed up and I couldn't even drink out of it anymore. I mean, for the most part, uh, I really do like this brand though, not sponsored, but it's from Walmart. I like it a lot. Cheers, you guys. Salud. Elaine, hi Elaine. You have to you have to hold it with two hands though. Yep, this is the one I got from Walmart. Hi Trixie, glad you're back. My favorite YouTube crafter does does that. She has a link on her page for her favorite things she uses. I use her link all the time. That's awesome, Diane. Yeah, I really want to get into that taking the time to tag my videos if I'm showing something. Um, I've been in the program for a while, but now they're starting to send me more and more um, like communications about like, I got invited to this Ulta program and they were gonna, excuse me, you guys, they were gonna um, give like 16% with affiliate code. I'm sorry, you guys, hiccup, hiccup slash burp, water burp. <laughs> Lotion of the day. This is what I've been wearing all summer. It was a free lotion from Bath and Body Works. Pretty as a peach. Smells so good. And I'm sad, you guys, because they sent me a, a $10 birthday coupon, which I didn't use because, I don't know, the two times I was at the mall, my kids were with me and they wanted to do other stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll go back. I'll go back and get that, that free birthday gift. And I never went back. I'm so ashamed of myself, you guys. That's, that's really not me, you know? Jess says, that's a nice water bottle. Almost time to cut the bottle, right, you guys? Hit the like if you're a, a bottle cutter. Got to get that last little bit out, you know? You probably got two more uses in here. Okay, you guys, I guess let's keep it moving. I, I am rusty. I am rusty today. And to those of you that are here, um, the setup is uh, pretty non-existent right now. Do we have, like, some weird rays going on? Do you guys see that the rays over there, or is that just me? I'm getting some weird, um, that's crazy looking. What the heck? Here we go, maybe that's better. Is that better? Or do you guys like the rays? Huh. I originally wasn't gonna film like this. To be honest, the lights are very, very harsh. They're very harsh to be, it's very, very, um, a lot on your eyes to be in lights like this. The colors aren't as vivid here this year. Aww. Okay, guys, let's keep it moving. Okay, so, um, boy, this is not a really good setup. I'm like leaning over you guys to grab stuff. 
Okay, you guys, so these are part of the three for 10. I thought they were adorable. Little, cute, tiny highlighters. I have this pack. You guys know I do a lot of three for 10 deals. These little cuties, they all, oops, they all connect. So I basically have two of this style and two of this style, one that I just threw on the floor just now. Super cute. Those are part of the three for 10. I'm making such a mess, you guys. I'm gonna have to load some stuff into the box. See, that's the good thing about not being on camera. You guys don't have to see me um, go through like, you guys, I, I really never wanted you guys to see like the mess all the time. It's really a mess kind of doing this process. Um, this is $10, you guys. This is a little Winnie the Pooh. It might be vintage. I've had it in my inventory for a while. A little Winnie the Pooh bag. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. So this is what it looks like. This is the little bag and it has hearts. Well, I guess I did have a Disney thing after all, Rachel. It has heart balloons, flowers, and little checks. So it's like a little makeup bag. But also, um, this and this are included for the $10. Also, um, you get the brand new, pretty sure it's brand new vintage. You also get the little bandana, AKA handkerchief. The flowers totally match the flowers on the bag and it says bother free is the way to be i've missed you guys tell me about your summer you guys tell me about your summer in the chat if you guys had anything amazing happen special i know we have some big things uh that some of the bunny birdie gator family members have been through um some really big things you guys and um I just been thinking about you guys all so much through through those hard times. Um, we do have a Bunny Birdie Gator chat on Instagram. Terrilyn says, I'll take the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, thanks, Terrilyn. Um, and I, I really haven't been regular with the chat at all, you guys. It's been so much uh, moving. We were in our last home for almost 20 years. It's been so much moving. Thank you, Terrilyn, for $10, this cutie. This cutie set is all yours. Um, but I'm really looking forward to, the more and more as we get settled in, I'm really looking forward to connecting with you guys uh, more regular, being more regular in the group chat. It's, it's just been a lot. I'm not like a, a person that's really good with a lot of stress. And I just have days where I just kind of get a little lost, you know? There's been days where I've gotten kind of lost and I have my lists and then I, I just, I just, it gets to be too much, you know? So I've been trying to juggle it the best that I've been able to, but it's been a lot. It was a lot to leave that house that we were in that long and, uh, you know, move across country and live in a hotel while we found a house. And it's a lot of, uh, a lot of stress, a lot of excitement. Um, thank you, Terilyn. Terilyn says, again, I'm first to purchase at your grand reopening. Terilyn, you guys, was the very first person to ever purchase at the Bunny Birdie Gator store. And now, Terilyn, you are a first once again. Terilyn, thank you for always making it so special. You're so amazing. Okay, let's put your name on the paper. Terilyn, Winnie the Pooh set yep you guys i just go ahead and write it down i just write it down on my paper this is so cute okay so i don't have now remember i told you guys we were going to do some sort of maybe cubby system to where you guys get your name written on a box and you get to see your items get loaded into the cubby well i might end up buying some new cubbies i had six nine cube cubbies some of them a lot of them got really damaged in the move um but i i want to do a fun concept like that with you guys oh trixie said 
I've been praying for you. Moving is a lot. We're we're looking for our new home. Been in this home 27 years. Thank you so much, Trixie. Yes. It's, I'll be thinking about you and your family too. It's it is a lot. It was and it is. It still is a lot cuz you know, you don't just get settled in right away, you know? It takes time. Okay. So we'll put it in the box. I think it's time to close the blinds. Such a mess in here right now, you guys. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you guys a couple cute things that I got. I'm gonna do give you guys a little a little haul really quick. These items are not available for sale, at least not right now, but I recently um, got some items from Workman Publishing, so many planner stickers. Um, let's see, all these planner stickers, Workman Publishing, they have really awesome stickers. This is from the Pip Sticks collection. I also got these Teaching as a Work of Art Teacher Appreciation stickers. Um, let's see if I can show it to you guys. Really cute. I love the Pip Sticks stickers. They have a lot of stickers. I also got this Big Fat High School Algebra Workbook. That's part of their Brain Quest uh, collection. From the brains behind Brain Quest. And then I got everything you need to ace computer science and coding in one fat notebook. I love these, Jess, to all my homeschoolers out there. I got these reusable stickers and I figured I could use some of these on the packages. Sometimes I get too busy with packages and then I don't put stickers on the packages, but I really love putting stickers on the packages. So I got these for this holiday season so I can um, continue to put some really cute stickers on the packages. This is by the brand I like. I like. And then I got this um, puzzle. The Girl Who Reads to Birds. This is a Natalie Letty. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Puzzle. Looks like my sister when she was a little girl. Looks like one of my sisters. Super pretty. This is a 500 piece puzzle. And then I love these, you guys. I love this collection. Um, this one is called Book Nerd. Isn't it cute, you guys? Justine, look who's up top. I love the plants, the dog. I love just all the plants, the, the cute little happy colors. This one is a thousand pieces. And all of the Workman puzzles are so aesthetic and cute. There's multiple ones that have plants, cactus. You just wanna stare at it all day. So yeah, you guys just wanted to share that little uh, Workman publishing haul. Again, not sponsored, they did send me these um, books and puzzles for free. So thank you so much, Workman. If you're watching, I am looking forward to these so, so much. All of them, I'm really looking forward to them. And these, you guys have to check out these planner stickers. Um, the Pipstick planner stickers are amazing. 2,650 stickers, you guys. Love them. Okay, I'm gonna set these over here. And I was going to close the blinds. Let's close the blinds. Granny always taught me to close the blinds when it got dark. So let's close the blinds. Now we have privacy. Yes, yes, privacy is good. <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Um, okay. Here we go. We're gonna have to load up that Pioneer Woman box. You know what, let's move this out of the way. I don't know, I don't know you guys, if I can even make anything look better in here because it's just too much stuff right now, you know? Too much stuff. But I'm bringing you guys along for the mess, you know? Bringing you guys along. I'm going to start offering clothing every auction, too. Most likely vintage clothing and things from... Oh, talking about houses, yes. Things from my stockpile. Okay, that looks a tiny bit better. Not really, though. Now we got that rolling rack. I'm, I'm just like, eh. I hate, you know, I hate ugly backgrounds. So bear with me, you guys. 
Okay, what are we doing? Oh, Gator built this for me, you guys. This is from Shein. Isn't it cute? So now I can put some pens and things in here, which I do offer at the store. He built this little desk organizer for me. Haven't put that out yet. All right, let's look at these. These are part of the three for 10. Yeah, you guys, I just look like a bum today. I'm just dressed like a bum. Typical, typical YouTuber at home, you know? I thought these were really cute, you guys, part of the three for 10. These are the collapsible uh, storage containers, 10 and a half inches by 11, and they're 10 and a half inches tall. So this is the largest size that Dollar Tree normally carries. Let's turn this light over here a little bit like this. One of our, I think one of our ring lights died. I'd like to bring a ring light in here. One day at a time. Uh, oh yes, Carolyn, that's so awesome. Oh. Well, Terry, thank you for being here, honey. Thank you so, so much. You guys seeing the funny rays over here? Love you, Terilyn, and I hope you get some good rest tonight. Yes, come back and rewatch if you if you need some company later. Probably be showing some really good items. But yeah, I'm kind of kind of rusty tonight, you guys. Um, the collapsible storage containers with the little puller handle, three for ten. Um, so they're black on the sides and they are this cute white with pinstripes on the front. These are perfect for the standard size nine cube cubbies. I have a total of three, six, eight of these. Eight of these and they're part of the three for 10. Also, three, the part of the three for 10 were the little cute highlighters. Two different varieties, two of each. Yeah, I'm making a mess, you guys. Okay. Also part of the three for 10. Here we go, you guys. Also part of the three for 10. You guys know I have a lot of socks. Well, these are some of the... Uh, newest socks that I recently added. I have the Applejack socks and it just says Kellogg's on the back. Uh, this just says crew one pair fits men's shoe size six to 12. Marvelous. Hi, Marvelous. Welcome to my uh, mess, Marvelous. The room is not, it's not put together yet. I still have totes and stuff in here and rolling racks and yeah. It's a mess. I was gonna just film here on my desk, but then I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna be real. <laughs> Welcome, Marvelous. So we have the two Apple Jacks. We have the two Twizzlers, super cute. There were 12 new varieties, but these were my favorites. So these are the ones I picked up. These ones are really cute. The Pez, and you have the candies on here, the Pez. And then I really like the colors of this one. This one's really cute. The Twinkies, the Twinkies. I think I'm gonna shut the door because my husband has TV on and the house echoes a lot. So I'm gonna close it. I don't think any cats wanna come in here right now. Mommy was in here. And uh, she was, seemed like she was waiting. I'm surprised she hasn't come back. I also have two of the kisses. Again, these are part of the three for 10, two of the kisses. What do you guys think? I actually have my own door in my own room now. And I need you guys to let me know what sort of things would feel good in here because it's not gonna be looking like this, hopefully for too long. But if I don't sell anything, then it might be looking like this a little, longer than we want, you know, because I need to get rid of these totes and I have a lot of inventory in these totes. So we also have the kisses and look at this one, you guys. I had to get these because it reminded me of the time 
that I actually saw the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile when my kids were younger. This one's really cute. I love the orange and the blue. And this one just says Oscar Mayer on the back. These are men's sizes, so they're perfect for men and women. They're definitely unisex. So I just grabbed two of each. And again, you guys, those are um, three for 10. Three for 10. Twinkies, Kisses, Oscar Mayer, Pez, Twizzlers, and Apple Jacks are the ones that I chose. I have a whole tote full of really good socks, you guys. Some of them are those little mismatched socks. And I have some that are really like perfect for fall. Okay, also part of the three for 10. Also part of the three for 10, you guys. And I thought these were really cool. Robin, the sizes are men's, um, men's six to 12. Men's six to 12 on all the socks. Yes. Which ones do you want to get secretly for Ron? <laughs> Don't listen, Ron. Don't listen. She can't surprise you. Okay, you guys, also three for 10. I have these, they are not deodorant, you guys, and I haven't used them yet, but I thought they looked super awesome. Great for on the go. These are stain remover sticks. Stain remover sticks, you guys. Look at that. Part of the three for 10. Treat stain and wash later. Two and a half ounces. Nice big size. Let's open one up. If I can get one open. Oh my gosh. Let's try a different one. I don't think they're sealed. Nope. Yeah. Oh, the little thing popped off. It even has the thing like deodorant has, you guys. Look. And it doesn't really have much of a scent. It's your unscented deodorant. Stain stick, yes. Treat stain and wash later. I have seven of these, part of the three for 10. I was like, that's kind of cute. Like somebody might accidentally, you know. <laughs> no, don't use it for deodorant. Joy's here. Look, Joy, it's not deodorant, Joy. It's a stain remover stick. Everyone say hi to Joy. Joy, welcome. The room is a mess. I decided to just be on camera. Um, I have my little white table and my white chair, and that's about all I have right now. And I have a couple rolling racks for clothes. And the storage totes, yeah, it's a mess. Oh, Trixie Blue asked, does it have bleach in it? Does it have bleach? Water, sodium, sterilite, stare, I don't know, glycerin, soap, primary alcohol. Uh, I don't see bleach. I see no bleach. Nope. Yeah, interesting, huh? Three for 10, part of the three for 10, as well as the storage cubes were three for 10. The socks were three for 10, Joy. Got some cute. Socks, Apple Jacks, Twinkie socks, Hershey Kisses, Pez, Twizzlers. Let me know if you want to see any. Those are part of the three for 10. And also uh, cat treats, part of the three for 10. The salmon, tuna, and shrimp flavors. This is the 2.4 ounce. I have uh, six of those. I will be buying candy soon for the store. I have these for $10. I have a bunch of these. This is the 21 count fine permanent marker. And these are the colors you get. Yep, the cute little guy on the front. $10 for the Sharpies. Okay, what else do we have? So far, Joy, I've shown Pioneer Woman. I know you and your mom love Pioneer Woman. You guys have seen these before, but I did bring out some of the brushes. I have the blue, the dark blue and the red, and I have some other Pioneer Woman items, so let me know if you'd like to see those. Oh, Robin would like Pez, Kisses, and Twizzlers. Thank you, Robin. 
Pez, kisses. Am I am I moving you guys? I think I am a little bit. Kisses and Twizzlers. Socks. Socks for Robin and Ron. Thank you, Robin. Okay, let's pull it. Let's pull it for you. You have your Pez. You have your Kisses. And you have your Twizzlers. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Robin, if there's any, any, if there's ever any special socks I can look for for you, I know you have different sock needs. If there's ever a brand or a type that I could grab for you, please let me know. Please let me know. I'd love to, sorry you guys, turn my back on you. I'd love to um, help you out too and find some special items for you. If you guys ever have any special shopping or items you need someone to be on the lookout for, please let me know. Like I'm in the shopping capital now. Like there is so much shopping here. I haven't even scratched the surface. Um, okay, let's see what else. Oh, so we have these gorgeous, you're welcome, Robin. We have these gorgeous um, light pink, super fuzzy, super, super fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can tell, pillow covers from Ikea. These are the 20 by 20 pillow covers. They go for 14 88 normally at Ikea. I don't even remember what I said at the be beginning of the uh, store opening what I was charging for these. But I have quite a few of these, you guys. And I took a picture of Gator with one. Um, I think we took it on my phone. I should have had that ready, you guys. I could have pulled it up on my computer or something. Um, I need to figure out, like, I know with some of the software you can just pop stuff up on the screen. Um, but I took a picture of Gator holding it and it was so cuddly. I was like, I was like a cat, you know, you know, Justine, like a cat. <laughs> I know, you know, Justine, uh, cat approved, you know, cat approved. Yes. Yeah, so I just got the pretty dusty pink. Yes. Justine. Ah, uh, Justine with all the cat emojis. Yes. Okay, so we have some Pioneer Woman stuff, um, some sensory stuff, Joy, that you missed. The Compound Kings. Um, what do they call this? It's like this, it's like the sand stuff. I have this Play-Doh set. I have a whole other tote. It's probably under some of this stuff, a whole other tote of things that I want to pull out and show you guys. I have a bunch of skincare, a bunch, but I think I need to load some of this stuff back up. So if you guys, if there's anything you guys want from this stash, let me know. I'm going to kind of put some of these things back. Things can get so messy so quickly when you do this sort of thing, just stuff everywhere. The brushes are amazing. I really like mine. I have more than this too, you guys. But I just pulled those out for tonight. Oh, let's see here. I have some books. You guys have seen some of these and some of these you haven't seen. Maybe I'll uncover some of the other stuff. Oh yeah, I think I have some new things in there. I have a brand new compost bucket from Aldi um, that I paid, I believe I paid like $28 before tax for it. And I have a garbage disposal. I don't have a compost pile anymore in the city now, you know? Oh, I know Terrilyn, if she here, was here, she would probably want this. Um, and she had the funny name for this stuff. I can't think of what she called it. This is a, oh, Scooby-Doo, it says it on the back. What is Scooby-Doo? Totally tubular plastic cord that you braid, weave, and knot to make super cute stuff. So this is a Scooby-Doo set. The Book of Lanyard and Lacing. Um, originally, I don't know, the price tag was 
was uh, tore off. It has all the instructional pages, pictures. I like how it really shows you how to do it. The Klutz books were such a cool thing in the late 90s and early 2000s. The pen leash. Looks like there are some beads in there too. Oh, this one is cute. Scooby-Doo, yeah. I don't know if any of this was ever even used. 12 amazing projects. So this is available for seven. And then I also have this one that was also not ever used. Also by Klutz, also for seven. This is a shrink art jewelry. These are the pieces you get. Um, it doesn't say how many projects, but it's like anklets, bracelets, gives direction on how to make a strip for like a bracelet that you can then slide things onto. A bubbly necklace. Just all sorts of tips on decorating, getting started. So this one's seven also. I never showed those before. Never before. This one is also another Klutz book. Looks like the paint might have been used maybe once or twice. And these are from my kids' collection. Okay, the book, was the book ever, did we ever do anything in the book? Maybe, ah, maybe one time. Look. It's like watercolor paper. Oh, it looks like we did do, ah, did we do, did we do this? We must have. Ah, I didn't even know that we ever use this. Just like, looks like maybe two, two or three pages. This might have even been given to me for my stepmom. This might have been my siblings. I have these pages here. Ah, That's so cute. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. The paper's really nice. Alpha numeric art. Wash play, wash and cram play. How to do different washes. So all three of the Klutz books are $7 each. Okay, let's set these down. We'll set them down to the Pioneer Woman flags. Okay, and then for $5, we have the Young Naturalist Sketchbook. Never been used before. Talks about all the different um, animals. $5 for that. We have a book called The Breathwork Companion, which I think I got this brand new from Workman. 1999 US. Um, unlocking the healing power of breathing. Going for $5. We have a Everything Kids First Spanish Puzzle and Activity Book. Um, from our collection that I never used. I was always like, oh, I don't want to write in it. I want to just use it, but then I didn't use it. So brand new Spanish workbook. Everything you want in a kid's book. Making, practicing Spanish fun. Making, practicing Espanol fun and facil. Fun and easy. Puzzle and activity book. For five. And then we have Use Your Girl Power, a journal. I was looking to see if there was a price. Never used. Let's do $3 on this one. $3 on the journal, never used journal. Kind of a guided journal. What is the most courageous thing you've ever done and what happened because of it? What would you do if you had all the courage in the world? And I like the little um, page marker and it says Girl Power on it. $3. Also, extreme dot to dot, 
available for $3. It's from the Mindware brand, I believe. We might have started on one or two pages, so it's not in perfect condition, but these are the extreme dot to dots. Includes eight two page spreads. Eight two page spreads. Eight. Okay, so eight of the projects in here are two sided. Yes. Also $3. And a coloring book. This was, um, this is Canadian. The Colors of Nature. I think this was one of my first coloring books I ever got. Let me see here, you guys. I don't know if we did anything in this one. Maybe, maybe one or two. Mostly animals, nature, birds, kangaroos, dragonflies, flowers, cats, snake, Butterflies, Terilyn. Let's see, let me just check one more time to see if there was any pages done. There's a lot of pages. This one is $5. Looks like it. I was gonna say that, is that a pigeon? No, I, I don't know if it's a pigeon with a tail like that. I don't think there's any pages done. I thought there was maybe one, but no. Okay, so $5. So mostly seven, five, and three dollar books. Okay, you guys, let's see what else we got. Oh, and this little one, this little one right here, Learn to Draw Animals. I think this one is brand new. We have some stickers in the front. This one is going for three. This came from Target's Dollar Spot some years ago. Looks like we have quite a few. Let's see if we have any other stickers. This is one I got for Gator. I don't think he ever used it. Oh, he wrote right here on one page. Ahmad, hey Ahmad. Welcome to Las Vegas, Ahmad. We're in Las Vegas now. Learn to draw a whale. How have you been? Have some coloring pages, some graph pa paper. Really cute, nice little hardback. Was originally $3 at Target. I'm asking $3 for it. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got, you guys. Oh, I should have moved that bin over here. I have one of the wallets. I had these last year. I have the very last one left. It was originally $13.98, I'd like to do seven for it. This came from Walmart, really nice fall color, coin purse. It's like a faux leather, golden zipper, card holder, cash holder, little um, cute puller, wallet. And I do have washi tape, you guys. I have some oranges here. Nice for fall, nice Halloween colors. I have oranges. And I have black. Black, gold, white, oranges. I figured I'd set these aside for now. A lot of these are um, like celestial. Some of them have gold foil, silver foil. We have some galaxy ones. Yes. I'm so rusty, you guys. I'm trying to figure out what did I used to charge for my washi? I think I used to do five for seven. Either five for seven or five for eight, you guys. I'm gonna have to go back and check my prices. Um, not saying that I have to be set in my prices that I had before because times do change and man, everything is so much more expensive here, you guys. So, you know. Gotta, gotta make it worth my while um, uh, finding these things, buying these things, housing them and everything is it's quite a bit. So I can't just break even, you know? But yeah, got some cute washi. I got a lot of washi, you guys. You guys ever wanna do a washi, washi sash? We have a Daiso that is amazing with all sorts of washi. So if you guys ever want like a Daiso washi package, let me know. 
You guys, the washi there was amazing. I shared a Daiso live stream about a week ago. And Diane, uh, Diane was so cute. Diane, you were calling yourself the washi, sn the washi snob. And Diane was saying, washi snob approves. Uh, because the washi there was amazing, wasn't it? It was awesome. I think I lost the bottom part of this that had the original price on it. I have this brand new roll of um, like a mesh for $5. This came from Michael's. I have to find a little end piece. It's in here somewhere. It got a little loose in the move. I'm trying to see where it went. It's like, where did you go? I don't know. I'll, I'll probably find it in the tote, you guys. But this is available for $5. It's not from Dollar Tree, it's from Michaels. Super cute. I don't remember how many yards because the little end piece came off in the package. But yeah, I like the little iridescent um, sparkles. It's a lot of product, $5. Nice for fall. I have some other fall things. Hopefully I'll unearth it. Ooh, that had a lot of glitter fallout. Very fine glitter fallout. I also have glitter, you guys. Um, oranges. Let me grab some of the glitters I have. I basically have a whole, um, I have a whole container, you guys, of stickers and, and glitter. I'm probably not going to pull out tonight, but I do have glitter. I'll show you guys some of my glitters. And the majority of my glitters are safe for face, hair, and body as well. Um, we have some pinks in here, pinks, blacks, oranges. I want them to fall out. Can you guys see? See, this is where having the camera the other way around works good because I can just slide it in and you guys can see what I have versus this angle. It's, I'm trying not to dump it. Yeah. And some of these are extra fine. Some of these are just fine and some of them are regular, but I have a lot more, a lot more glitter, you guys. And I love these little containers. These came from Shein. I have golds and yellows and browns, also very fall themed. Maybe not the yellows, but the golds. And then I have blues and greens here too. Yeah, I didn't think about that, you guys. Filming like this, I was like, I really can't, I really can't show you stickers or glitter or some of those sort of things that I have in my containers filming like this. So we'll figure out, you know, we're, we'll figure out what to do for future videos as the room comes together. Okay, I have one uh, very fall towel. Um, it says wild and free very minnesota very minnesota fall wild and free let's see what brand this is i don't know let's see ritz 100 cotton ritz since i don't know what does that say 1982 19 something you guys the writing is so tiny and that tiny writing is getting a little, starting to get a little harder for me, you guys. I've never worn glasses or contacts, but I'm starting to get to the stage to where certain things are getting a little bit harder to see. So, your girl's getting there. <laughs> um, getting there. I actually bought a pair of readers. I don't use them. I just kind of got them. But... I'm getting there. I'm starting to run out of arm. I had my last, um, my first eye visit, um, like maybe a month before we left Minnesota. And they said, oh, you could probably use a 1.0 reader, but to be honest, like you have perfect vision, you have 20, 20 vision. But I said, I'm, I'm starting to run out of arm sometimes, like especially in the morning. So yeah, you guys. If you see me, uh, <laughs> I'm heading, I'm heading, I'm heading that way, you guys, you know, I'm heading that way. So anyways, we have the one little towel. Um, I wish I had two. I really do like to sell 
towels in twos, but I just have this one and it's part of the three for 10. And it says wild and free, cute little deer. Wild and free, definitely fall. You know, you have your fall wallet, your fall towel, your, your little like mesh garland. I have a bright orange, I might have it in this container, a bright orange utensil holder um, that I thought was pretty fall themed too, that I might be pulling out. I don't know. We'll see if it's in here. Oh, I have this rug. This is nice and fall as well. I have this rug for $7, brand new. Sort of a faux leather back, really cute. Could be go in your bedroom or in your bathroom. Burgundy heart rug, it's adorable. Yes, this is what the back looks like. It's nice and big. Now you guys can kind of see what size everything is. Like if I'm doing my videos, um, you guys can actually see the size of everything. Wow. Cat approved, yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, seven dollars for the rug. I only have one in burgundy. To those of you that are watching this on playback, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting the store. I know a lot of you are not able to catch the video live. You don't have time in your life, maybe right now, to watch a video live. I understand that these are very long. So to those of you that are watching on playback, I really appreciate you and your time. Thank you for being here. You can email me at any time, bunnybirdygator at gmail, if you see anything that you like and uh, would like to have. Like if you say, hey, I want this, or I want the quantity of however many, just let me know what you want. If I have it, it's yours. If I don't have it, if someone maybe else came afterwards and wanted to purchase it, I'll let you know what's available and what's not. But you can always, uh, shop my store once I'm no longer live. Whenever you want, shop my store whenever. Typically, the prices that I have, I will have, I will honor Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday. Typically, I ask that um, you put in your orders like by Saturday afternoon and uh, pay by Saturday night. That way I can have time to ship because shipping does take a series of a couple days loading the boxes, creating the inventory, uh, the, the invoices, sorry, um, getting your boxes prepared and everything. So yeah, I do honor the prices through the weekend, but really do um, prefer that if you guys find something you'd like, you pay sooner than later so I can proceed with your box. Cause I, I only ship if you guys pay, like I will never ship to you if you haven't paid. That's just, that's just not good business. So, you know, just you know i'm just a, i'm just a regular little store slash small business you guys so um i do my best and i try to do a lot of usps ground shipping because that tends to be the cheapest we love you too ahmad glad you're here ahmad i have this um better homes butter dish with the wooden lid I think I used it for a TikTok or two. That's it. Super cute. And this is available for $10. Holds the really big one pound stick of butter or two single sticks. You could actually stack four sticks in here or you can put in one of those one pounds, one pounders, you know, put it in the fridge or leave it out, whatever you like to do with your butter. $10, Better Home Butter, Better Butter, Better Butter, Better Butter for $10. Also, you guys, you know, I always have phone cords and I only ever have them in purple. This was one of the first things I ever uh, offered in my store. I bought a lot of them the first time through. They're really nice and long. They're six feet. This is from Walmart. Good for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod. Uh, it's lightning to USB, so it's for an iPhone. These go typically run you about almost $14 in Walmart last time I checked. Either $12.97 or $13.97, maybe more. But it is a six-foot cord, 
and it has this stitching and this covering. And um, in like almost two years, one of my kids has replaced theirs once. It's purple, so if you love purple, it's great. It's definitely um, not a white cord that anyone else is gonna be confusing with theirs. Um, it's kind of like a purple with pink, kind of shiny. These are $8 each, you guys, $8. I have several, I haven't done a count lately, but I have several, $8. I always have these if you ever need a foam cord, it's gonna be way cheaper than anywhere else. I can't always do that with all of my products, offer everything way cheaper because I am a small business, but with some of my products, you guys will find that some of my prices are a lot lower. And I'm making a huge mess, you guys. But I have to get to the orange uh, utensil holder that I have in here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have some little fall things in here, you guys. Okay. Here we go. You guys have seen this one before. Let's go ahead and do this for seven. This is the tomato lid, Charles V. Anson. I think these go for... 20 plus dollars. This is the little, um, seals the lid, BPA free. See the picture here? It's a cute little tomato. $7. I used to have this on my windowsill in Minnesota, you guys. We have clean and dirty. Clean and dirty. $2. Let's do it for $2. I got this at um, Dollar General. I love it. It's kind of giving Ray Dunn vibes. Clean and dirty for $2. I have um, salt and pepper shakers. No, I have, yes, I do, actually. Let's do it. Let's do it, you guys. Let's see, one, two, three, four. You know what? Okay, let's do everything in this box for $10. Okay, what will you get for $10? This is the fall bundle. Okay, you guys will get salt and pepper shaker, toothpick holder, you will get a white pumpkin, And then you'll get some little decorative fall tchotchkes. Most of, some of them are glass, some of them aren't. We have this little guy here. It is glass. Now I have another one, so you can be symmetrical if you need that like I do, too. I think Almost all of these came from Family Dollar, except for the white pumpkin. I don't know, I might have gotten that at Family Dollar also. We also have, oh, little foxies um, and pumpkins. These are also very symmetrical. Super cute. We have a, who's leaving? Who's leaving us? <laughs> Are you leaving us, Tanisha? Good night, Tanisha. I have a little windmill. Yeah, you guys, I have my computer right here. Got my phone here. Got my computer here. We have a little um, basket of apples. We have... Um, Oh no, one of the scarecrows is missing an arm. I just realized that. Little scarecrows. And a person holding a cornucopia. So, everything for 10. Yes, TJ. Mm -hmm. Which one are you referring to? Are you referring to mini so or Daiso? Yes. Oh my gosh, Trixie said now it's a traffic cop. Eek, go that way, go that way, go that way. 
You're funny, Trixie. I want to take you guys to mini so. Um, it's been it's been about two or three years, but mini so actually contacted me and asked would I come to one of their stores and film a tour. I have since been um, I since sent them an email saying, "Hey, I'm in Vegas. Uh, you offered uh, if I wanted to come out and film in your store." Yes, TJ. Yes, so much. Check out my most recent. Jess, would you mind finding the link to my most recent um, live I did in Daiso for TJ and, and pop it up in the chat? TJ, when Jess pops up the link, you should go check that out. I started off by showing a lot of the Sanrio, Hello Kitty, Sanrio and Friends items, Gorilla Kuma, um, just so much. Washi, thank you so much, Jess. Um, there is so much good stuff in there. So TJ, I'm like, I don't know exactly how we'll work it out because Daiso has no returns. So I definitely want to work things out to where if you guys want things from Daiso, like you win, I win, everyone wins. I can pick it up from you. I could do a themed mystery bag or whatever. But yes, I have access to multiple Daisos. Lori's here. Hey, Lori. Sorry, you guys. I keep using it as a mirror, but I really didn't plan to be in front of the camera today at all. I'm just kind of dressed like a bum. I got on my Lucky uh, Five Below shirt. It says the word Lucky on it. And uh, I got on my Crocs, my Timu Crocs. I got on my Shein fleece brown shorts. I'm just super bummy right now. I didn't even put my earrings in. But I just got on camera and I was like, I'm just feeling it. So, yeah. Anyways, all of the um, fall items, eee, I don't want to tip it. All the fall items are $10. Yeah, exactly. Yep, love it. Yeah, love it. Lo better love it because you can't return it. Lori Pixa. Hi, Lori. Welcome. Yes. Yes, TJ, make sure you register. Um, I'd love for you to shop with me a time or two before just so that we can build a little bit of trust. Um, and, you know, become a regular and I will shop for you. I will get you the things you want. And uh, I know there's, there's, there's actually, um, they're going to be opening their 100th store here in the U.S. But to be honest, like that was my first time ever going in a Daiso. My daughter and I went on my birthday weekend and then I filmed for you guys. And that was my second time only going in there. But that store is amazing. And it's not all $1 stuff. Um, if stuff is on sale, it might be lower than $175, but otherwise it can go all the way up to over $15 per item. And a lot of the pricing is in yen. So you're like always looking at the pricing chart. But yeah, I would definitely love to put some things together for you guys, especially those of you that are regulars with me and you guys have been supporting my, um, my store for 14 months already. Um, those of you that are super regular, if you want a blind bag, mystery bag, or whatever, and you want to say, okay, I want to spend X amount of dollars, um, I know I'll make it I'll make it worth it for you if you don't have access to it. I'll have to, you know, make it worth it for me as well. Um, and then, you know, maybe put together a, a fun, like, mystery bag. Mystery bags are, Justine says, mystery bags are fun. Yes. Yeah, we got to do some stuff like that. Time for our water, you guys. Let's take another drink. Who, who has their water? Let's salute. <laughs> yes, you need two hands for this one, you guys. <sighs> this is so funny because Birdie has one too and it's like... Sometimes I hear, <laughs> you know, like I hear her banging it in, banging it on something, and it's just like this big, huge bell. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's just so loud, like when you bang it on something. I wanted to bring in a mason jar with maybe a sugar-free, um, yes, yes mystery bag or box to those of you that are seriously interested in mystery bags or boxes why don't you dm me on ig or email me 
what you have in mind and how much you want to spend. If you have a theme, if you have a character, they have drinks and snacks there too. Like, I'll pick it up for you guys. You know, I'll pick it up for you guys. Let me know. Let me know what you have in mind. And, and we can get a, give it a shot. Like, we can start low. But again, the, the things are not $1 there. It's $175 to $15 plus. Bunny Birdie Gator at Gmail, TJ. Let me know what you have in mind, what your budget is. Um, I think with the Daiso blind bags or mystery boxes, um, especially if you're brand new, I'm definitely going to want you guys to go, Mel! Mel's here! Mwah, 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 super Mel! Hi, Mel! Welcome, honey! Welcome to my mess! <laughs> Welcome to my new filming room. It's it's a mess right now. Everyone say hi to Mel. Oh, who's going to say hi to Mel? Give Mel kisses. Mel needs lots of kisses. We love you, Mel. So glad you're here, honey. Um, we were just talking about this cool Japanese store I have nearby. Um... Some people say it's a dollar store or a hundred yen store, but stuff starts at 175 and goes over $15. And we were talking about the idea of mystery boxes or blind bags because they have a lot of Sanrio and friends. They have a lot of just really cute stuff, awesome organizing stuff, super pretty and cute stationery. Like you guys got to check out that Daiso video. I went live in there and it was awesome. Like I want everything in there. Kiki's here. Hi Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Yes. So yeah, this has been, um, we're still going, you guys. We're still going. We're still going. This has been very chatty. If anyone uh, wants to go back and rewind and do a quick skim on what we've shown tonight, just a quick verbal recap. I've shown some Pioneer Woman items. I'm starting to show a little, some sort of like farmhouse and some little fall items. We have clean and dirty available for sale. Um, I was talking about that I have um, orange and black washi. I have this um, fall mesh that came from Michael's um, that I have some orange and browns and black glitters. I have some cool kids items for sale. Um, Pioneer Woman items also. Pioneer Woman towels, Pioneer Woman sink brushes that maybe some of you would like to order a fresh one. I have a burgundy uh, heart rug, super cute. A um, couple other fall uh, colored and themed items, a wallet, a towel. Um, seven, five, and three dollar books. Some of them are the Klutz activity books. Um, I also showed some three for ten dollar items. We have these cool stain sticks that look like deodorants. Um, cat treats, part of the three for ten. I also have some large um, storage bins that are part of the three for 10. Cute white with pinstripes, it's basically black and white. Um, I also have some bright blue um, Pioneer Woman scalloped melamine dinner plates. Um, I showed some new socks tonight. I also have uh, $10 each. Sharpies, Ash is here. Hey, Ash. So glad you guys are all here. These are $10 each, 21 to a box. I have multiples. Um, I did a little Workman Publishing book haul, showed you guys some of my new stickers and things that I have in the room. I have these um, really cute 20 by 20. Thank you, Kiki. It's a mess, Kiki, but, you know, <clears throat> we'll get there. I figured, you know, I'm just going to start. I was telling myself, I want to start the store back. I want to start back on Thursday nights. I've been missing you guys. And, you know, when you have such a routine and then you break your routine, I mean, for like good six years straight, I posted every single day. So for the last um, 
100 plus days. I haven't even posted every day. As you guys know, I've only gone live like maybe once a week. I haven't even uploaded a video since I've been here. Um, I've done a couple shorts, a few shorts. That's it, you guys, it's so weird. It's been weird not like working every day in that way. I've just been doing more so like paperwork and wrapping up things with Minnesota and trying to get some things out of some boxes and we've purchased some furniture and, and uh, just all the, starting a new life here and setting up everything I needed to set up with bill pay and utilities. It's just, you guys know, I mean, we were in our house for almost 20 years, so we, I, I, I still have so much to do. But um, these are super cute to all my pink lovers from Ikea, the 20 by 20, super cozy and cuddly, um, very furry, if you guys can see, very furry pillow covers. Um, I said the price in the beginning of the live, I don't even remember what I said, but these go for $14.88 each at Ikea. I think I have six to eight of them. I don't remember. I don't even remember now, you guys. I do have, also, you guys, as part of the three for 10, I have a bundle of Ikea bags, you guys. I had a couple Ikea bags that I used for a good 15 plus years that I had gotten at a thrift store. These are the classic um, humongous Ikea bags, the Fracta. 55 by 37 by 35 um, Ikea bags, part of the three for 10. The very big bags, good for laundry, good for shopping, good for traveling, packing the car, um, consolidating your shopping bags. When you need to come into the house, maybe you live in an apartment, maybe you have stairs, maybe you're living somewhere with an elevator and you don't, or can't do the rolling cart option. This is gonna help you a lot. I have 10 available right now. Part of the three for 10, you guys. Um, if this is something you guys want, I can regularly get these and easily get these for you guys. I will regularly, thank you, Mel. I will regularly um, be going to Ikea and I have very easy access to shopping at Ikea for you guys. So I used to just have very rural options, not anymore. I have access to everything here in Vegas. So yes, I have access, you have access now. Thank you so much, Mel, to Ikea bags as part of the three for 10. Yay, two are yours, honey. They're such a long lasting bag. I've never even had one rip. Never ever had one rip. And, and I abused them. I abused my Ikea bags that I had, but these will last you a lifetime. These are amazing and they're so huge. I used to love to put these in the car and then I'd go to Aldi and then I'd come back, uh, come you know to the car and put the things in and then I would be able to just put so many things or as I shopped from store to store and have a bunch of little plastic bags and then I could just load them all up in the um, Ikea bag. Yes, she's doing much better and um, she has gone to bed for the night. She's um, currently taking medication so she's been really trying to get a lot of rest and uh, go to sleep at a really good time. So yes, she was here. She was here bright and early. I'm gonna put these in the tote for you. Yes, I'm gonna have some um, things on my rolling rack, you guys. I'm gonna have some things on my rolling racks. I have two rolling racks. I'm pr I might downsize and just have one, but I would like to um, start um, sharing some of my clothing that I have with you guys that I've had in my inventory for some years. So I'd like to do, I'd like to do, a lot of these totes have clothing, you guys. Okay, like for example, and I have some vintage stuff too, you guys. But what I wanna do, let me show you guys something here really quick. 
I have a lot of stuff, you guys. I'm just, I just pulled this out of the box, okay? This, um, this is authentic. This is authentic guess. Justine, I know you remember guess. Look at this. Um, it has a little discoloration on the letters, but it would probably come out in a wash. But look at this. Look at this guess sweatshirt. Like, these are one of those, this is one of those items that you would be watching one of those like flipper resale uh, shows. And the guys will go and they'll, they'll want to find like the really unique pieces and they would freak out because this is authentic. This is a authentic vintage guess sweatshirt. Like, this is like 80s or 90s, definitely. 50 cotton, 50 polyester. One size fits all, you guys, but I have a lot of very, really, like, awesome hand-picked pieces from, like, some, not too many graphic tees and sweatshirts. I have um, some other sports, like, sweatshirts. I have a bright teal one that's, I think, um, one of the Florida teams. It's really awesome. It has a big pelican on it. It's also vintage. I have this. I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of vintage Western shirts. I really do have to work on my pricing, but yeah, you guys, I have some really awesome pieces. So what I'd like to do now that I have more space, um, once I make more space with these totes, you guys, I'd like to start picking like maybe 10 to 12 pieces per store opening and have them hanging on the rolling rack and have like a time where I just pull the rolling rack in and then you guys can like see the items and I'm having them on the hangers and it's like really easy for you guys to see. So if there are particular items, sizes or clothing um, things that you guys would like to see, please let me know if you're like, oh, I wanna see your XL sweaters or um, men's shirts or whatever, like let me know. Let me know what you guys wanna see. So I have, a lifetime of reselling clothes and these clothes are just getting more valuable and more unique and more collectible with time like i have really some really awesome things you guys i have vintage i have vintage hats this brand is um this was actually out of sparks nevada dry clean only 100 percent wool um, I have some real treasures. Look at this hat, you guys. Straight vintage, very good condition. Wool hat, like I have some really awesome pieces, you guys, that I that I hand picked over many years, and I'm ready to share my collection with you guys. I want to get my car in the garage. I can't right now, you guys. I need to sell. <laughs> I need to sell a lot of stuff before I can get the car in the garage, but I really would like to get the car in the garage, you know? It's time to get busy. Let's see if there's anything else I can show you guys that I have that might be awesome or super unique. I also have, um, this is definitely uh, vintage, size large. It is 66% rayon. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. This is a sweater. It's very Las Vegas, isn't it? Very Las Vegas. Uh-huh. Look at that. Definitely vintage. The brand is Carducci or Sir Serducci. Serducci. Yes. Pretty awesome piece. It looks like a large, maybe extra large. Looks like a pretty big large, if you ask me. But yeah, you guys, I have a lot of fun pieces, all sorts of things for kids, all different, everything, everything, you guys. I even found more ties. I found more, more scarves. Who's here? Chuck's here? Lori, our youngest fur baby. Chuck would love to say hi to everyone. Hi, little Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Chuck. Aww. <laughs> yes, you guys. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Let's put some of these things back in. Yes, you guys. 
Hashtag help Mimi fit her car in her garage. Yes, you guys. <laughs> I need your help, you guys, so I can get my car in my garage and I can um, come home with all this stuff without the neighbors thinking I'm insane with massive amounts of stuff in the back of my car, you know? I'd like to pull them to the garage and then just like leisurely like open the hatch and bring things into the house and have it be a little more private, you know, but I'm in a neighborhood now. So yes. Okay. All right, you guys, let's see what else I can grab. We have this I'm beautiful and I eat a lot for $10. This is by the brand Blue Q. Some of you have seen this before. I think she she really is beautiful. I'm beautiful and I eat a lot. I, I eat a lot, yes, I definitely eat a lot. Most some days, most days. I don't know. If I'm too busy, then I then I then I really don't, but I, I love this. So quirky, the the bland the bland blue clue. The brand blue Q has um Lots of cute humor. 100% cotton, super insulated. $10 for this beautiful queen. $10 for the queen. Let me know if you want her. I also have these super cute um, reusable hand warmers. My best friend had given me two sets of these. And I think it's time to share at least one set. Um, keeping the other set. But these are... Um, little hand warmers, what, what does it say on the back? It says to activate, snap the metal disc in your gel pack and, oh, and, and, and shake it back and forth to start the reaction. The reaction will cause your gel pack to heat up. What? These are cute. These are super cute. Let's do these, um, let's do these as part of the three for 10. Each one uh 333 or whatever part of the three for ten hand warmers super cute oh uh, with the pink scarf gotta love the pink scarf oh there we go i told you guys i was gonna find that that piece eventually the extra wide ribbon 100 polyester so i found the, the piece that went to this um, seven and a half inches by 18 feet, brand new from Michaels, but it lost its top and bottom. I think it was like 10 or $15 for the roll, supposedly. Okay, you guys, I got these for you guys right before I moved. Trixie said, big time Vegas piece. Yes. These are the full circle zip tuck re reusable lunch sets. Definitely um, for the plant lover, um, somewhat summery, but I love tropical. It's really cute. One snack bag, one sandwich bag. So these are $7 each. Um, I believe they go for a lot more at Target when I look these up. So you have a seven inch by 4.6 inch, which holds one and a half cups. And then you have the eight inch by the eight inch, which holds three and a half cups. Each bag replaces up to 500 single use plastic zipper bags. So these are reusable uh, Ziploc bags, $7 each. And I have three, four, five six seven eight i have eight of them and they're all the same and they're seven dollars each what time is it you guys 7 57 so we've been going for two hours already just taking my sweet time today you guys i did a haul i talked a lot i, I showed you guys the room we're still going i'm here um creating a really big mess but I'm just really happy to be here with you guys. I'm really, really happy to be here with you guys. And I miss you guys so much. And it feels so weird that I was gone so long and I've been missing you guys like crazy. And I'm just really, re I'm ready to get back into a routine. I miss you guys. Like, 
I miss you guys. I miss you guys a lot. You know, you guys are so sweet and supportive and, and you guys watch all my videos when I post every single day. And I missed hearing from you guys and saying hi back to you guys. And, um, but also in a way it was, it was, it was really good to just kind of be a mom and be a person and kind of go through this big, huge life change and have the time to just kind of be a person and move at my own pace without daily deadlines. Um, besides, you know, like looking for a house, meeting with a realtor, doing things that needed to be do done at a particular time. It was kind of nice to not have that extra deadline of work, which I hadn't had a day off of YouTube for, I don't know, like probably a good six years. Um, six years maybe I don't know I started in 2015 you guys so it's been a long time been a long time Trixie says missed you as well so happy for you and you look healthy and happy thank you Trixie yes I'm very very um happy and working on being healthy I'm not gonna lie you guys I feel like uh right before I left I uh got my Jess said eight years yeah my eight year anniversary just passed um, eight years. So for a good probably six and a half years, I don't think I ever took a day off except there was a day when a lot of people in the community were not posting and uh, it was a blackout day if you guys remember that and that's the only day I didn't um, post um, in all of that time. Yes, and now you are a mom to the famous Jaya. That's right, Diane. Yes, and guess who? Guess what? The famous Jaya Capretta has more subscribers than me, you guys. You guys should check out her channel, Jaya Capretta, here on YouTube. Um, yes, the famous Jaya Capretta. She just hit, I believe, I think she just hit 75K. And um, we, we were at the library together, and she had more multiple girls coming up to her going, oh my gosh, you're famous, I know you from TikTok. And they were singing the Converse song and they were asking for pictures. And so she's starting to get recognized out in public. And um, it's just really amazing. It's really awesome, you guys, because she's been working hard on her channel for so long and she deserves it and she loves it. And loves it. And this is what she wants her to, her career to be as a woman, a young woman now, and as a woman, as she gets older, this is what she wants to do full time. So it's really amazing that um, that everything is going so well for her. So I'd love for you guys to support her. And to those of you that have been regularly supporting her since the beginning, even when she didn't have her viral video yet, I appreciate you guys so much because I've always been her biggest fan and I know a lot of you love her and love her content. She is truly a star, you guys. She's so talented, so creative. Like, I love her content. I could just binge her content all day long. And you guys will also be able to get kind of a glimpse of uh, our house here and there too even though things aren't ready, things aren't done or finished. We don't have all of our furniture yet. Um, you guys will kind of be able to get a glimpse of our house too. If you're feeling just a tad bit impatient, um, because like we're still waiting for a bed for Gator. We're still waiting for this mattress that he really wants from Ikea that's been out of stock for weeks now. Like, we're just waiting, you know, like a lot of those best sellers, you just are going to wait. Like who knows how long you're going to wait, but I'm going to set these down. You guys, these go for seven. These go for $7. The reusable bags. I have so much stuff stashed away. You guys, it's crazy. It is crazy. Okay. Let's see if I can find this without knocking my lights down. So I have this guy from the kitchen. I don't even know exactly what it is. If it's like a big time meat flipper, roast flipper. I think it's for something really big for $5. Oh, Trixie. No, I didn't see, honey. Did you want some bags? Your question, Trixie asked. Let me go back. Trixie. Um, I don't think I saw it, honey. I'm looking. 
I'm going back in the chat. Oh, no, I haven't tried the bags yet. Nope. But I've been seeing them everywhere, and they're always, like, super, um, super pricey. I definitely want to try a set. Um, I have them in one of my boxes, so I almost forgot that I had them, but... Yeah, I definitely want to try them because I'm always running through bags. But this guy is $5. I think it's like to lift a whole chicken or a roast or something like that. We had it in our stash. I don't think we ever used it in our kitchen. It's heavy duty. Oh, it's used for smash burgers. Okay. I asked my husband, I was like, do we use this? He's like, no. I was like, have we ever used it? I don't think we ever use it for smash burgers. Okay. I feel like my husband made those before too. I don't think he used this though. Is that Mr. Milo I hear? And then this is part of the three for 10. This is also one that used to um, sit on my windowsill. I do love it. Um, but I don't really have, my kitchen is different. I don't have a windowsill anymore. You guys know I love cactus. Hi buddy. But this is part of the three for 10 little glass cactus. Super cute. I love the green color. Oh, I also have this little, um, I have this little alarm clock. It might be brand new. Um, I have this, I don't even know where this was in the house. You can put a battery in it. Um, it is the brand Sharp little alarm clock with a snooze button. Hey, just in case you need a backup for your phone if you're traveling, let's do $5 for this. I don't think I ever even used it. Does it have a protective? No, it doesn't have a protective sticker on it, but yeah. Where is mommy? Where is mommy? Robin's like, oh, isn't it cute, Robin? Hmm. I love it. I still love cactus. So this is $5 for the Sharp. I like that it's white. I think that um, the little hands glow in the dark and it has a second hand and a little ribbon for the battery. Yeah, mommy's not in here. Actually, Milo's in here. Milo came in here. And then this is a Mario Batali. Perfect for fall, right? You could show the label or not show the label. This was, um, I had this in my kitchen for some years and I think I'm over orange now. I think I'm gonna go, I'm mostly going black, white, gray, and I might start implementing some green accents here or there. I wanna get some tall plants and maybe implement some green accents. But I think I'm done with orange uh, for right now. Um, but this is very fall and it still has the original um, sticker on the bottom, $14.99 but I did have it for a while. This is a, what do they call this, you guys? I don't think it's a crock, but it's a utensil holder, solid glass. I'd like to do this for, let's just do $7 for this. If you're feeling the orange, $7. Pretty heavy piece. Oh yeah, wet bathing suits, yes, yes. I like the wet dry bags. And they're little, especially, hey, if you have a bikini or something small. Okay, you guys, I have this piece that um, was very much overpriced on Shein. Um, this little drawer organizer, washi organ organizer, jewelry organizer, makeup. I think it was, I think it's supposed to be bamboo. Um, I think it was supposed to be bamboo. I think it is bamboo, but, it, but it's painted. It's painted. I think it was like $30 on Shein, but this was an item I just picked out. Um, let's go ahead and do, let's do $7 for this, you guys. Nice little piece, really nice and sturdy. Kind of looks like a cutting board on this side, you know? Hey, cutting board on one side, organizer on the other for seven. I just never used it. I had an idea of something I wanted to use it for, and then, I don't know, I, I didn't end up using it. So, that's available also. I'm gonna show you guys the, um, the Crofton, 
compost bucket, if I can get it out, I don't know you guys, I might have to move Ooh, the dust, a little dusty, a little dusty. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's just, I should not have had that box in that corner. Okay, so this is the countertop compost bin. I believe I paid $28 for this at Aldi and I never used it. And um, Robin says, I'll take the organizer. Thank you, Robin. Let me jot that down. Thank you so much, Robin. The bamboo organizer. All right, you guys, so features a sturdy stainless steel handle for easy transport to your garden, includes three odorless filters and 20 compostable bags. The dimensions are nine inches by seven and a quarter and 9.4 inches. Sold and just distributed exclusively by Aldi. Okay. Here's the box, did get a little rip in it. I had it on my stockpile shelves, which my husband just put together my stockpile shelves for me, you guys. This is glass. Um, maybe we'll do the, some stocking, maybe I'll do, I don't know. I, I always wanted to like show you guys my stockpile shelves or do some ASMR content with that. So everything is still wrapped, it is glass. These are the charcoal filters. I did open them up to check them out. Three charcoal filters, which you just put into the lid. And we have how many? A whole massive roll, you guys, of the um, compostable bags. It says additional odorless filters and compostable bags can be bought online. It shows the filter size and the bag size, a whole roll of bags. Okay, and then here is it's glass, you guys. Very heavy compost. Yep, and it has a Crofton seal on the bottom. Really big, really heavy and nice. Black and white, very clean with the silver handle. So I would like to do 30 for that, you guys. That way I can at least break even on what I paid for it. It was, I think, 27, 87 or 90 something. Uh, and then with tax, I think that'll, 30 will break me even on it. But I, to be honest, I thought I was gonna use it um, or I thought I'd want to use it. And I don't think I'm gonna use it. I don't think I'm gonna use it. I have a garbage disposal and I was a composter for almost 20 years. I composted everything and recycled everything. I didn't even pay for trash service because what I didn't recycle, I composted. And um, yeah, so unfortunately I'm not gonna use it, but it's a really nice one. I only ever saw them one week I never saw them again. I thought they were so cute. So that is available. Kind of heavy, kind of a heavy one, but if you guys don't have access to Aldi, you're not gonna be able to get it online because they don't sell anything online. Robin, I'm gonna put your, put your organizer in here. I gotta figure out a solution, you guys. <laughs> With the camera, I'm getting up and I'm like adjusting my shorts. One of my little pearls popped out of my shoe. Time to put it back in. See if you guys can hear the pop. Let's see. Bless you. It didn't pop. Jess says garbage disposals are so nice. I'm glad we have one too. Okay, I'm gonna shut the door before I start sneezing. 
Oh, here I go, you guys, hopping over stuff. Okay. I have some more stuff in this tote. I actually have some more Aldi items. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is, this is too hard. <clears throat> okay, you guys, I have, I have some more Aldi items. All right. This set is a Crofton three-piece set of cheese knives. Cheese knives. And look at the colors, purple, blue, and pink. This is going to be 12. I think this was 15 in Aldi. 12. So we have a spreader to use for cheese spreads, a combo plane to use for slicing soft and semi-firm cheese, and a cheese knife with prong used for cutting and picking up soft and semi-firm cheese. $12 for this one. This is the only one I have that looks like this for 12. So if you're watching this later on playback or if you want this in the chat, just refer to the refer to it as the pastel set. Uh oh. Okay. And I have one more, you guys. We have another one. Cuchillos para queso. We have another cheese set. También. Except this one is gold and black. Gold and black for $12. Very nice. Jess, are you allergic to ragweed by chance? I remember some of my family members were, had their allergies were horrible with ragweed. $12 for the black and gold. So those are my three Aldi items that I have. Yes, that ragweed will have your allergies so bad, you're gonna feel like you're sick practically. Um, my dad and, uh, and Jaya are super allergic to ragweed. Um, for seven, you guys, I have some stainless steel um, sets. I love these. I love these so much. I use them every single day. We have the straight straws, four to a pack with the cleaner, and we also have the curved straws. Me personally, um, I don't know. I have some days where I really want the curved straws and other days where I don't really care, but I like them both. And it says they're antibacterial. So these are $7 also. You get four and a cleaner. Again, I have two curved and two straight. Always like to share some home stuff with you guys. Okay, what else do we have in here? Okay. You guys remember these? I have three of them. These are $5 each. I have the vintage, um, like, yes, I love mine. The vintage marble eggs. Now I only have two stands. So if you buy all three, you'll have to interchange two of them because I don't, I don't have a stand for one of them. We have the gray, the gray. Looks like there's little bits of like brown or tan in there. And then we have this nice fall color. They're really heavy too. Yes. I saw them on eBay for much more, but I'm just gonna do five each. So here are the colors. They're pretty, pretty satisfying sound together. Three colors. I like the gray one a lot. I like all of them a lot, actually. They're really cute. And then I have this vintage heart glass. Has a little bit of clear. 
Ooh, Robin, can I have a bite? <laughs> I love that, that's so yummy. I have this vintage heart like candy dish. Um, it looks like the candy dishes that the ribbon candy go in. Kind of looks like ribbon candy, doesn't it? And this is available for 10. Yes, very vintage. What do you guys rate this experience versus me just showing things on the table? What do you guys rate the table experience versus me showing in front of the camera? Is this harder to see? Is it more satisfying? Is it less boring? Um, is it better the other way around? Like out of 10, 10 being the best, do you guys like this experience better? Because I was mentioning many times that I would, I want to do all my lives like this for you guys at home if it works and for some products i know it doesn't work like the glitter or the stickers i'm gonna like pour them out like trying to show them to you um so i think it really works but but to be honest you guys sitting down is such a game changer like a year of standing up my right ankle i had times where my right ankle was just out of nowhere just getting swollen between all the shipping and standing Mostly the shipping, like three days straight of shipping, like six to eight hours a day, I think was what really did it. And then the three, four hours of standing, it was like, what is going on? I never had issues with my ankles like that before. But um, my chair is not the most padded or comfortable chair. Just a little chair I got off Amazon. But um, I'm pretty comfortable, you guys. Yeah. I just need a drink next to me and like we could we could do this all night, you know, we could hang out all night. <laughs> but what do you, but is it is it any better you guys give me some feedback please. Is it any better me showing things in front of the camera or is it just like the same either way? Or are you having a harder time seeing the stuff I'm showing? Let me know you guys and feel free to be 100% honest, not going to hurt my feelings. Not going to hurt my feelings. Okay, I wanna move this light a little bit. Yeah, put it there, there we go. This is a little distressed, a little distressed, um, very heavy duty, solid, like towel holder or purse holder that I had in my closet. It came to stress like this from Michaels. Robin says, I like this view. I think it's fine the way you're doing it tonight. You can always move the camera down to see glitter or washi or smaller items. Well, I want you guys to have the best experience possible. Um, you guys have to see me and all my little habits. Like, I don't know why, like my hair has just been, it always wants to curl up back there. And I don't like uh, being in the camera and then seeing it bloop alfalfa you know so I'm always like messing with my hair and stuff like that and uh and that's probably kind of annoying I'm kind you know how you do little things sometimes and you're like it's kind of even annoying for you that you keep doing something but if you have something that isn't bothering you like if your your shirt keeps going to one side and you keep fixing it or or you have like an earring that keeps falling out like you know like I kind of can become one of those fidgeters kind of easy so um yeah, I gotta work on that. Jenny guys, let's, let's do $3 for this. I got this in a Michael's grab bag. It was really super sturdy. Um, it holds a lot. It's, it's like, I think the whole thing is, I don't know what this material is, but this is like metal. It's very sturdy. And you can paint it too if you don't like the distressed look, but it did come distressed. It's supposed to be a seashell. So $3 for this. Actually, let's make this part of the three for 10. Maybe you have some um, three for $10 items already, but yeah, you could paint it, make it whatever color you want. This is also part of the three for 10. And in front of me, we have the little $5 alarm clock with snooze button. We have the $5 uh, eggs. We have the $2 clean and dirty. And just a few items to mention. It's like show and tell, better showing this way. Good, I'm glad you guys like it. Okay, I have this set. 
I have this set, you guys. <sighs> yes, no lids, but it's a full set to my knowledge. This is the Corningware 22 ounces. This is P43B, P43B. I don't have the lids, but it's in like perfect condition. I have the one and a half quart. This one is P one and a half B, P one and a half B. I'm gonna sell it as a collection, but I just wanna give you guys all the details. This one's a little dusty. And then we have the third one, which is a one quart A1B. It says good for the microwave. Yes, Corningware, yes. First time I've ever offered any Corningware at the shop. And lastly, we have Hmm, looking at this, I think it might just be, I think it might just be dirty. I just noticed that. Yeah, I think it might just be dirty. I did not use these. Uh, these were given to me um, from a family member that they found out thrifting some years ago, and I had them down in my basement um, on some basement shelves. They might have even been in a bag. I, Again, it was one of those things where I knew I had somewhere, but then I kind of forgot. This last one is, it says, for range and microwave, USA. And this one is, oh, really? Robin says, I have that set in gold. My grandma gave it to Ron and I for our wedding gift. I just boxed it up last week. Aw. Yes. Corningware, you guys. That's sweet, Robin. This one looks like it was used a little bit more. Um, this is the A, what does that say, you guys? A, B, mm, I don't know. I'll show it to you guys. Mm, can you guys see that? It's right up here. But this is definitely the larger one. I don't know, eight by eight by one and three quarters, I think. Okay. I would like to do, I would like to do this set, the whole set for 50, which a lot of these go for about 20 a piece um, on eBay, 20 and up, 20, let's just say 20 to 40 a piece and up. Oh, Trixie says brownie dish. I'd like to do 50 for the set of four. Again, um, you get this little cutie. I don't have any lids though. We have these two that are kind of similar in size, but this one is definitely deeper. And we have this one. So the four pieces for 50. This one looks the newest. Yes, they are collectible, yes. This one looks the newest um, or looks like it was barely ever used. This one too, it's like really good shape. The other two are in really good shape too, but it looks like they were used a little bit more. Okay, sorry to turn my back to you guys. Let me set this down. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna part ways with this because it's a little bit sentimental for Gator, but I wanna show it to you guys. Um, it says Fitzgerald. Casino Blackhawk, um, the Galileo thermometers. I think it's called a Galileo. Okay, let's see what the temperature is in here. Let's give it a chance. Usually it, the one that floats is what the temperature is in your house. It might be about 80 in here. I don't know, it might be about 78, I'm not sure. 
that looks like a black, but it's actually a purple. Can you guys see that? It looks, it's actually, oh, sorry. It's actually like a purple. Looks like the little green one is starting to move around. These are so cute. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna part ways with this, but I really love um, the little gold um, temperature plaques on there. It's kind of cute. Let's move this out of the way. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna part ways with this one or not, but I had this in the box thinking maybe, not sure. Wow, this is a real mess you guys are looking at. Sorry, I never really wanted <laughs> wanted my store to be uh, messy like this, but I just kind of want to take you guys along on uh, where we're at so week by week you guys can kind of enjoy seeing it get better, you know? Sort of satisfying. This is my daughter's keyboard. She doesn't use it right now. She's like, I don't think I want it anymore. And I'm like, I'm not throwing this out. I love pink, so cute. I don't know, I might use that at some point. I don't really need a keyboard, but it's kind of fun sometimes. Um, I have this little vintage cutie. Let's see if there's a brand on it. it has a um, sort of kind of like a little velvet lining. I'd like to do this for 10. Hmm. Mine were handed down, says Trixie Blue. Brownie dish, yes, they're collectible. Ooh, lemon bars, mmm. Who's making lemon bars? I need food. <laughs> Robin says, it will all come together. Thank you, Robin. This little cutie with a um, pink rose is available for 10. We have little cherubs, little angels. Um, I don't know the age of this. It's definitely vintage. My guess is that this is probably from the 50s or 60s. This is what the inside looks looks like. I like the sort of quilted look on the sides. The legs are so cute. Yeah, I'm really happy. I did not expect that I would even have uh, a dedicated filling room. Um, uh, so this is a five bedroom house and I did not expect, um, I had no expectations on having my own filming space. You guys know I was filming in my kitchen before on a uh, additional counter, standing up in the kitchen with the oven like right behind me. So I feel very, very thankful and very fortunate that um, I have this space that I will be able to put together and um, hopefully you guys can give me some ideas and I can make it cozy and make it kind of be my own little work environment for the Bunny Birdie Gator store, for filming, whether it be hauls, for shipping. I have a door that I can close. I can even lock it if I want, but I am sharing with the cats. Um, they do have their little, little, little like litter box house in here um, and I let them sleep in here at night. I tuck them in and um, they just go in their houses at night and we shut the door and they have their water in here. And so I'm kind of sharing with them because they always had their own, they had run of the basement. That was their house at night. So I call this room the basement to them sometimes so they understand that they need, it's time to go to bed. I say treaties and nighties. Treaties and nighties. I don't want them to come to the door. I tell them treaties and nighties. Aw, Diane says, no more making pizza on paper plates for the kids. Aw. Yeah, because they love eating pizza on paper plates. That's just, they love that. Yep. You guys would hear that pizza's ready right behind. Right behind me would be the oven closer than where those blinds were. Yeah, I was just trying to make it happen, you guys. I was just trying to make a way, trying to make it happen, trying to downsize, trying to make it happen, uh, find a way to make it happen to be able to move here. And you guys, thank you. You guys, you guys helped. I wouldn't be here if you guys weren't here helping, helping us get here. You guys helped us get here. You did. 
you guys did. Every single one of you that ever supported me helped us get here, especially those of you that came here on Thursday nights and supported the Bunny Birdie Gator store. You guys helped. You guys are a part of my story and my family's story. So thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. And you guys are going to continue to be a part of my story, you know? You guys are going to help me get my car in my garage, right? You guys are going to buy the good things, buy the cool clothes that I have, um, find gifts for your family here for the holidays. We're going to have a lot of fun. No food talk. <laughs> hey, I feel the same as you're teasing me with lemon bars. I am so hungry today. I don't know, something about on Bunny Broody Gator store days, I have a really hard time eating enough food. Um, before before we start the store, like I had breakfast. Aw, I love you too, Robin. Trixie said, aw, you're an amazing friend. Aw, you guys are amazing friends. You guys are. Time for some more water. Cheers. Time for the chugger. That's what you got to do with this one. This one doesn't allow you to take ladylike sips. No, you got to chug, you got to chug this one. Yes. Aw. See? <laughs> it's like a bell, you know? It's like a bell that you drink out of, you guys. Oh my gosh, I just got to add for Kachava. Mel, if you're here, if you're still here, Mel, um, wasn't it Kachava that you said you like? Or was that a different one? Excuse me. Something about the water chug and then you gotta have the little water, the little water burp hiccup or whatever it is. It's like, it's not caffeinated, you know? I mean, not caffeinated. What's the word, you guys? Um, caffeinated? No, that's not what I meant to say. Um, carbonated. It's not carbonated. Trixie says, oh, you like your Stanley cup. Oh, those are good, aren't they? Those are like super super strong and industrial. Ron said, good night, Mimi and everyone. He said, have a blessed and safe Friday. Good night, Ron. I hope you have a nice Friday too. And uh, hope it's easy getting up early tomorrow for work. You guys, Ron has to go to work super early. So I hope it's easy for you, Ron, on Friday. You guys, this little cutie, if anyone wants it, $10. I wanted to show you guys the detailing up close on this little vintage piece. So cute, with the cute little legs. Okay, so that toad is empty. Oh, yeah, I have a little box of Christmas stuff over here. Noisy sometimes. <laughs> Good night all, be safe at work. Are you leaving us, Trixie? Or are you just saying goodnight to Ron? Okay, I don't know if this is my main bag, you guys. I have some new skincare for you guys. I don't even think this is the main bag, though. Nope, this is not. Well, I do have some new items in here, but this is not the bag I was hoping for. Um, this is a Calming Treatment Mist, the brand One of One. You guys have seen this at Walmart. It's called Chill Out. This is uh, $7. Okay. Let's do a little $5 toner from Freeman Nordic Birch Pore Minimizer. Five. I think I have three of those. Yep. Yeah. Three of those. Shine control, pour minimizer. Oh, good, Trixie. Okay, and then I have also for five, I have two of the Totally Beachin Bedhead by Tiggy. This is a mellow after sun conditioner, 2.54 ounces. Definitely a summer item, you guys. Um, I got these before, right before I moved. 
I have two of them. One of the bottles is a little, a little bent, but it's fine. These are also five. I really like Tiggy products. I have a heat protectant from Tiggy that I really like. It smells so good. Okay, I have these for five. You get five um, facial sheet masks, the Prideful brand, sold at Walmart. A collagen and retinol, that's number one. Number two is vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Number three is tea tree oil and aloe. Number four, argan oil and vitamin E. And number five, fruit extract and avocado oil. These are 15 uh, minute masks, five in a box for $5. I have four, four of those. Also for $5, we have a lighted up Avon uh, compact mirror back from the days I used to sell Avon. It's a little silver con uh, compact, still in the bubble wrap. And it is, it's like a little ring light for $5. Little compartment for the batteries in the back. I only have one. I might need some more chapstick here in a minute, you guys. Okay. We'll have this be a three for 10 item. Strawberry matte nail polish. Um, is it scented? It is not scented. Professional grade formula, fun silicone topper, long lasting bright color. Um, bold and opaque matte finish. Not tested on animals, part of the three for 10. I love the strawberry, it's so cute. Um, I have some Freeman masks that are brand new. These are the um, mint and lemon for five each. No harsh chemicals. This is for oily skin and it's a purifying mask. I love the packaging. I have three of these. So I have three of these. I have two of the Tiggy's after sun conditioners. I have three of the Nordic Birch toners by Freeman. These are all five each. And I have one, two, three, four of the Prideful five-piece mask, set, mask sets for five each. The little compact. The This is cucumber and green tea. No animal testing. Um, this is a calming treatment mist. My kids got me one of these, and then I picked up this second one show you guys how tall it is. I think these go for about $10 each in Walmart, maybe more if I'm remembering right. This is how tall it is. And the brand is one of one, 3.4 ounces. Okay, I have multiple bags, you guys, of other um, skincare products. Um, don't know if I'll find them tonight. I might have to save those for next time. The items that I have are items that are sold at Ulta for about $32 each. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to show you guys some other things that I have for now. I have this little set of Firefly lights from the Nature Company. Um... 1992, you guys, these are vintage and I think it's vintage brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. Cute little uh, firefly lights. Um, some of my items, you guys, I kind of had handy or at the top of boxes because they were summer items because I really didn't expect that I was gonna take as long off as I did. So some of my items are a little bit summery. But yes, they're the little firefly lights. 
little lights in the back. Um, let's see. In bygone days, is that what it says? In bygone days, children collected fireflies in jars on warm summer evenings. We at the Nature Company do not believe in capturing live creatures, so we've created this strand of firefly lights to rekindle that sense of wonder from nostalgic childhood memories. We hope these lights bring you year-round enjoyment. Outside, the lights can be placed in the garden on a patio or perhaps beneath an eave to welcome you home. Bring a little of the outdoors inside by using the firefly lights to decorate your holiday tree or add whimsy to a child's room. Um, I was hoping it said how long they were. I'm not sure. Um, I really don't want to take them out, you guys, though. But I'm guessing it's, I don't know. It's probably going to be at least five to six feet. These are going to be $10 from the Nature Company. <laughs> You're not in Minnesota anymore. Great outside at night. Yes. Yes, it is. Yep. It definitely is. So those are 10. Hey, the nature company says we can use them year round, you know? <laughs> I have these little, I think these are, these might be pewter. Let's see. Um, yes. I think they're pewter heart, little heart bowls. I feel like I got a hair on me, I do. Yep. $10 for the set. Pretty sure they're little pewter um, dishes. You could probably put little candles in here or use them as trinket dishes. Yes, this is what, this is what it looks like on the underside. TW, this is the logo. Again, another little item with legs, right? Yep. I do have a bunch of these still, you guys. I don't have the box, but I have a bunch of these tin candles. Mmm, smells so good. Sugared passion fruit, coconut colada. Mmm, smell nice. Single wick. I believe I have two or three other varieties. The tropical smoothie. And two other circle varieties like this. Super cute little lid. I'm going to be selling these at some point. This is a easy melt cup from Yankee Candle. Lilac Blossoms. Oh, I did get some lilac candles. I am going to be selling some. Um, oh, so cozy, Diane. Pretty great in Minnesota. I love bonfire nights. My nose is a little itchy. Yeah, we had some really great bonfires with my parents. They had big, huge bonfires, like massive, big bonfires. Or they would want to burn some of their... Um, like maybe stumps or branches or whatever. Um, we had some really fun times out there with them. Some of the fires were huge. This smells really good, you guys. I do have, I think I have either two or four of these Yankee candles in lilac blossom. That is a really good, a good scent. And it doesn't just have to be for spring. If you're into purple like you are, Diane, if you're into purple, you could use this any time of year. Or if you really love orange and purple for Halloween and for the fall, um, nice too. But I'm probably gonna bring out the candles. Um, I don't know, maybe sooner than later, I'm not sure. I want it to be safe. I want it to be totally safe to ship. Let's see, let's see what I got going here, you guys. Oh, these are my stamps. 
tons of stamps if you guys want to do any wooden stamps. I know I have some fall stamps in here. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's push the chair in here. These are clothes. Like, here's a look at some of the clothes I have, you guys. I think this is a men's box. Like, I have this vintage, um, extra large, 100% virgin Orlon acrylic. You guys know it's vintage when they say Orlon acrylic. Like, look at this vest. Check it out. Check it out, you guys. Pretty awesome vest. Navy in the back. Men's, but hey, I mean, you could definitely go uh, unisex. I have this um, St. John's Bay. Again, I think it might be vintage. Feeling the material. Got some nice fall pieces. St. John's Bay. Hmm, so cozy. Bonfire cozy, right? Right, Diane? This is a men's large. It's 100% cotton. This is a Ralph Lauren. Nice fall colors, the green here. Oh, Diane, are you serious? I'm really sorry to hear that. And I appreciate you being here. I hope you're able to get everything sorted sooner than later. I would imagine you're super stressed right now. Hopefully, hopefully they haven't done any damage. Hopefully, I hope, I hope. Trixie said, plaid is big now. It never went away. Yeah, plaid never went away. This is a, this is a good piece, isn't it, you guys? Like, I can wear this, like, Put a little, you know, here in Vegas, you know, you put a little t-shirt, a little tank top underneath. Open it up. It's like super cute, isn't it? Yeah, this is a men's dress shirt. Extra large, 100% cotton Ralph Lauren. I just like to give you guys a random sneak peek. I wasn't even planning on showing you guys any of those. But I like to give you guys a random sneak peek at some pieces that I have. Oh my gosh. Um, Justine, if you're still here, honey, um, I think you and I both really like, like Argyle. I love Argyle. And um, this one, does that one have a little fuzzy on it? It has a fuzzy. I have some really cute pieces. This one is in a small. I know um, that wouldn't be the size you're looking for, but um, I have some cute sweaters. <laughs> Look at this little one for kids. Children's place, size seven, eight. I love Argyle. I have a lot of really good pieces in here. Oh, I wanna show you guys that sweatshirt I was talking about. Look at this, you guys. The brand is Health Knit. Look at this. Look at this vintage sweatshirt, you guys. Check it out. University of Miami. Look at the colors, the hurricanes. Justine says, I'm here. This is um, smaller than I remember. This is a medium 3840, but because it's vintage, I don't know, it looks kind of small for a medium. I don't think it was ever worn. In my opinion, nowadays, this is more of um, probably more of a small to medium. Um, but yeah, this is like vintage dead stock, never worn. It does not look like it was ever worn. I love the color. Hey guys, my nose is itchy going through some of these clothes. You go through clothes and towels and then before you know it, you have an itchy nose. Oh my gosh, I have some Chicago Bull stuff in here. I have some 
vintage Sears, you guys. Vintage Sears. Brand new dead stock, you know, brand new in the package. Vintage. Look at that, you guys. This is like a windbreaker, like an actual like jacket, you know, jacket. Look at this. Yeah. Check it out. The snaps. I have some vintage coveralls. Um, I think from Sears also. I got some nice pieces, you guys. I have a lot of vintage stockings and pantyhose also. Yeah, I have a thing for vintage. Justine and I, we kind of have a thing for vintage, right, Justine? Yeah, you guys, I have a lot of different things. So if there's if there's something you would like to see or something you're curious if I have it or not, like, please ask away because um, I do have a lot. You guys, I think I'm going to end tonight um, because I just, I need to get more organized for next week. And I know there's a whole other tote full of brand new things that I have for you guys. This is my ASMR tote. And I don't think it's handy. This is a clothing tote. This one is what? Uh-oh. Those are stamps. I don't know. It's probably one of these, you guys. Probably number 100. Did you guys did you guys notice that these are all numbered? What do I have in here? I have 73, 77, 9, 16. 13, 15, 189, 20, 10, 22, and I can't see what that one is because I think I took the sticker off of it. Justine said, yes, I love vintage and antique. Oh, Trixie says, I've been looking for uh, Washington Redskins original logo clothing. I don't have any Redskins. Nope, or as they're now known as the Washington football team. I don't have any uh, Washington football team, uh, previously known as Washington Redskins um, clothing. I do have some vintage Chicago Bulls. I have a men's Cleveland Brown polo. All these are uh, used and or vintage. I have lots of Vikings. Uh, I have lots of, um, gosh, Diane, <laughs> Wisconsin, um, drawing a blank, drawing a blank, can't even think of the name, Diane's like, good, good, let's keep it that way, don't, don't speak that team, don't speak that team to me. <laughs> Let Jess say it. The Packers, lots of Packers. I even have some um, brand new official NFL pet Packer outfits, collars, little bandanas and stuff like that. If I have any Packers fan, fans watching, I have uh, quite a bit of, uh, thank you, Melanie. Niners, I don't think I have any Niners. Diane says, I'm looking for vintage Vintage Vegas postcards and, oh yeah, Packers. Okay, I'm gonna be on the lookout, uh, Diane, if I ever come across anything like that. I don't know, I have a lot of competition living here. Um, a lot of thrifters, you know? No frozen tundra, huh? Not anymore. No more frozen tundra out here, you guys. No more frozen tundra. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any other teams. I don't think I have that many other teams. You guys saw the little Hurricanes um, vintage one I showed. I do have some Chicago Bulls uh, that are very vintage. I have the Chicago Bulls pullover. I know... 
a collector would probably go crazy over it. I have, um, I might have a couple pieces or two of Lakers uh, jerseys. I'm one of those thinkers I have to do like this, you know. Oh, Diane. Diane, I think I have a Lisa Frank thing. I know, I'm in Raiders. I am in Raiders, the Allegiant Stadium. Diane, I might have a Lisa Frank. Right here, I thought I did. Mm-hmm, I thought I had a Lisa Frank. Hmm. You might have seen it before though, Diane. Did I ever show you my Lisa Frank backpack? It's about this big. The little straps, clear with like bright pink and I think it has a puppy on it. Did I ever show you that? I thought I had that handy. Let's see. Okay, let me, let me just look over here really quick, you guys. Let's see what I've got going on. Oh, what do I have in here? I have scrunchies. Scrunchies, socks, I got two new clip-on earrings, Justine, I know you like those sometimes. This is probably the bin I was looking for, I think it is you guys. I don't know, should I bring the bin over you guys or not, what do you think? Or should I, or should I save it for next time? I have more socks in here. I kind of want to bring it over. Let me move this into rolling. Uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I want to have two rolling racks. I think it's too much. The question is, can I, can I move, can I safely bring it over? Oh yeah, you guys, I have more socks. Lots of socks, scrunchies. You guys remember these little wallets? These little fuzzy wallets? No boundaries wallets, those are available. Oh, is that my mommy? You want to come in? Oh, it's mommy. Justine, mommy's here. Hopefully she doesn't try to jump up on the table though. I have stuff everywhere. Mommy's here. Hi, mama. It's mommy. Hi, babe. Can I pick you up? Can I pick you up? Say hi to your friends. Now she does not like to be held. Say hi to everyone. You want to get down? Can you perch? Hmm? Wanna say hi to everyone? Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get you down then. Come on. Let's go, darling. Okay, get down. Okay, there's Molly. There's mommy, here's mommy, and there's mommy. There goes mommy. Right, mommy? Oh, I feel like I have, I might have some new skincare under here, you guys. Scrunchies. Socks. Tons of socks, you guys. So many socks. Did I load the skin? I found it, you guys. I actually found the skincare. I found it. Um, but now I got hands full of scrunchies. I gotta make sure that this chair doesn't tip forward because someone in the Amazon review said, oh, just be careful of your chair tipping forward. Like that would be a really bad thing to happen during, during a live. What are you doing, woman? Hey, come here. Jim. 
<sighs> yes. Well, you guys, as you guys know, I have lots of scrunchies. Five for five dollars scrunchies. Purple, browns, orange, green. A lot of these are the velvet and the, the velvet and the satin ones. Tons of scrunchies, all sorts of purples. Um, I added these. These ones are new. These scrunchies. I bought the pack, but I think I just took the black ones out. $8.88 at Walmart. Yeah, NFL life. These are some pattern scrunchies I have. Plaid. Um, furry. Polka dots. Strawberries. Robin, we have strawberries. And strawberries in there. Let's see what the strawberry one looks like. I was actually wondering where that tote was. Oh, these ones are cute. Little plaid ones. There's a lot of plaid ones in here. If you guys are feeling, feeling plaid for the fall, these would be cute. Little strawberry one. Oh, well, mommy's drinking water. See, they're learning to use their voice. They're just using their voice and they're not doing any scratching. They're just learning to use their voice. They know they better not, they better not scratch, you know? This one has flowers on it. It's cute. Yeah, this is another situation where it's better for me to not be um, in front of the camera when I can just dump these on the counter and show you guys. Yes. Oh, mommy's under the table with a bunch of cords. I was gonna say, you guys should see the mess, but you you guys do see the mess. Oh, I wanna look, I wanna revisit some of these socks. And some of these socks. Robin, I think these are all men's too. I also have Kool-Aid. Yep, men's six to 12. I have Kool-Aid. I have, wow. And these ones are Nintendo. This is a Nintendo. Look at these, I have Donkey Kong. I have a lot of Donkey Kongs. Two, uh, what are you doing woman? I thought she was scratching on something, but nope. Oh no. I actually have four, you guys. I like the stripes. I just remember that comment. And so when I'm sitting down and being very careful because it doesn't have arms on it, I didn't want anything with arms because I wanted to be able to push it into the table. So you gotta be careful, you know? Yes, three for 10. Sour Patch Kids. Yep, and I have more, more on the way. I also have a cup of noodles for the ramen lover, for the ramen lover. Oh, woman, she doesn't know how to use a litter box. She's literally scratching her paw on the entryway. That's her, her way. She doesn't know how to cover up. I don't think girls know how to cover up. Do you? Do you? Uh, going once, going, I'm wearing my cat socks. Aw, oh, Justine, are you wearing the pink and white ones? I think I need two more. I'll take a Kool-Aid. Aw, oh, thank you, Robin. Kool-Aid for Robin. These ones are so cute. These ones are, what are you doing now? These ones are so cute. I love Swedish fish. Ah, 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 Jim. She's playing with the cord I have over here. My ADHD is too bad. I, I, too bad. <laughs> okay, Kool-Aid for, Kool-Aid for Robin. Yes, Kool-Aid for Robin. Thank you, Robin. And also, okay, you wanna go out? Okay, okay, hold on. Let me climb over the, 
the pile that I made. You ready to go out? Okay, bye bye. Oh man, you guys, it's getting dangerous in here. It's getting dangerous in here. See, in my other house, I would go and take things and put them away and I'm gonna have to figure that out here. And then I also have these packaged uh, rug wraps, Nickelodeon, it said Bio World socks. They're super cute. Really cute, they have like these little polka dots back here. Super cute. I have three of these. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> I think Ron needs a pair of these. What do you think, Robin? <laughs> Aww. They're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> something about it's so cute. Maybe it's that he has a purple tongue. We have something going on here. I like this. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, oh man, Robin, I fell off of a, um, you know those um balls, those big like therapy balls that you can do sit-ups on? And uh, I fell off one of those one time, it like slipped out under me a long time ago. And um, I was downstairs in our basement, which was unfinished, just cement basement. And same thing, like I, hurt for so long it was like that deep down hurt like deep in your body you know because i hit that cement so hard so ouch yes ouch yes swedish fish these guys donkey kong and sour patch kids and the ramen okay let's see what we have in the other bag I don't know if the other ones are men's. Oh, I have some, um, what do we have in here? Oh, I have some Mickey and Friends no-shows. These are women's. Super cute. Also part of the three for 10. Some super cute um, little pinatas. Kind of looks like the Fortnite character, but I don't think it's supposed supposed to be or officially is. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. These feel nice. I like the colors a lot. <laughs> He's cute. Okay, and these ones in here, uh, these ones in here are going to be, these are going to be five each. You'd like the fish? Okay, the fish. Where'd I put the fish? Thank you, Robin. I love those. They're so cute. Thank you so much, Robin. Okay, let me move a couple things so I can write down that you wanted those. Okay. Oh, it says 80. It says it's 80. I don't know the air's running right now, but it says it's 80. Try not to set the air too um too low. Cause you know, I'm not trying to pay another car note, you know? You know, Justine? <laughs> I'm not trying to pay another car note just to run the air. Justine's like I know your, I feel your pain. Okay, so Robin, you have Pez, Hershey's Kisses, Twizzlers, and then you have Swedish Fish, and you have Kool-Aid. So those are two of three for 10 that you have. So you're at two of three. Now these ones are going to be five each. These are the Ellen Tracy Ellen Tracy Performance Footliners six pair uh, with a twenty dollar price tag on the back. Twenty dollars, five dollars each. Grays and blacks, and I have three of these. I think this is probably the lowest I've ever offered them. 
65 degrees here tonight. Can anyone check for me to see what the current temperature is in Las Vegas? I have three, hello. I have three pairs, you guys, of the Ellen Tracy. Uh, again, supposedly go for $20 each. Six liners in a pack. Ooh, hello. <laughs> $5 each. Also $5 each, I have two sets of these beauties. I love these so much. They're really, really, really well made. Just says 81 degrees there. But 81 here, you guys, feels so different than Minnesota because we have virtually no humidity. 81 here feels like 65 to me. The air is just so different. Like you can have much higher temperatures and it doesn't even feel hot. These are marked 733 each. These are the little mismatched socks. So, um, oh yeah, 87, but feels like 81. Um, so if you don't like the mismatched vibes, you could match with the two, buying two sets, the purple and the pink. You guys know I love these colors. They're really well made, $5 each. I also have two sets of these, you guys bought me out of these last year. These were a really popular seller. Tell me about it. If we keep our set at 74 with all this hot weather, you open the bill and it was $489. Mm. That hurts. That is a very hurtful bill, $489. Nine. Well, that's why my, my air is set to 80, 79, 80, 81 during the day, which upstairs gets pretty hot at night, uh, 75, 76 tops. Cause that's just one bill. That's not your electric. That's not your sewer and water. That's not your recycling and trash. That's not your energy. That's not your gas bill. Like, what are all these bills, you guys? You know, like, so I didn't even have some of these bills in Minnesota. Like, water bill? What? Water? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a whole whole other ball game out here in, in the big city, you know? It really is. Um, so, I definitely do miss the simple times in rural Minnesota because the bills were very low in comparison. Okay, you guys, we have two sets left of these. Again, if you don't wanna mix and match, you can do buy two sets and have three pairs and they're super nice. Again, these ones are also marked 733. Really, really cute with the pink, purple, and gray. Really nice quality, durable name brand sock. I love this brand. It's very 2000s. I love it. So cute. Trixie says 90s, 90s in, in South Florida. Yeah. I have one set of these. Um, these are the Fila. Women's All Sports, five pairs. I actually like to do seven on these. Diane says, I have a huge water bill. Do you? I know I was like, just got my first water bill and it's almost $60. And I've only watered outside a few times because I didn't really know what it was gonna be like. I've watered the pomegranate tree and the palm tree and the bushes just a few times because we've actually gotten quite a bit of rain. But I was like, I don't want to go crazy um, right away. I want to understand what the water bill is going to be like. So kind of glad I haven't been watering three times a week, which is what's allowed in the HOA. Because I didn't really know where I was going to be with it, you know. Um, let's do seven on this, you guys. I think this is my only set. Uh, Fila Women's All Sports five pack of socks. Um, got the pink, blue, the green. I love the green. The yellow. I love the neons and the purple and white. And they're kind of cushy and padded. This is what they look like. 
So we have the toes, the bottoms, and the heels, all with the color, and then the fila is printed on the inside and the outside of each sock. Seven dollars for this for this set. Yeah. What time did I say I was gonna stop you guys? I said I was gonna stop at nine. My butt's starting to hurt. <laughs> this chair. Do I postpone the skincare for next week? I might. I might just postpone the, the um, skincare until uh, next week. Do I have? Did I have a well? Yes. Mhm. Mm I did. I did have a well in Minnesota. Yeah, but it was a super deep well. And we never, and it never ran dry. I know um, we were always wondering during some of the droughts, was it ever going to run dry? But never ran dry. Never ran dry. Yeah, it was nice having a well. It tasted really good. The water tasted so good. We missed, we missed it. I kind of miss it. But sometimes city water kind of tastes a little bleachy, you know, a little chemical, chemical-like sometimes. Even though we have a filter on it, you know, I guess it, you can kind of taste the chlorine. Yeah, you guys. I think that's it for me for tonight. I think that's good. I think I need to get more organized for next time. Um, maybe uh, send out a couple more emails. So we have a little more shoppers. It definitely goes a lot faster when more people are shopping. Um, and more people are having fun in the chat. Robin says, am I good on my order? Yes, you are. Now, if you want to get a third item to add to your three for 10, uh, we can do that. But you are currently at uh, three socks for 10, then you have another two socks. So that would, didn't quite satisfy the three for 10, but you don't have to do three for 10 if you don't want to. If there's not another item that you want, you don't have to, it's okay. And then you have your bamboo organizer at seven. So you're at about what, uh, 14, about around about 24 or so uh, prior to shipping. And Terilyn, yes, the cactus is part of the three for 10. Do you want a little baby? Little baby, I love this baby. I love this baby. This sat on my windowsill for a while. I just washed it up and I put it in the box and I, I still do really, really love it. I just, I just don't have windowsills and I don't have my stuff set up yet. So like from one cactus lover to another, I'd love for you to have it if you want it. It's so cute. And it is glass, really cutie. It's a cutie pie. It's a cutie pie. Justine says, water rates in my city are sky high and you were only allowed to water two days a week. Lots of people just took their lawns out and put in rocks. That's what we have. We have rocks in the back. Okay, so that goes with the two pair of socks. Thank you, Robin. I'll add the cactus. Oh, little cutie is yours now. Mwah. Bye, little cutie. Have fun at Robin's house. <laughs> Glass cactus. Thank you so much, Robin. The Swedish fish, Kool-Aid socks, Pez, Kisses, and Twizzler socks. So it's five pair of socks, one glass cactus, and a bamboo organizer. And then Terilyn had the Winnie the Pooh set. And Melanie went ahead and got two of the Ikea bags. Mel, if you're still watch watching, honey, is there anything else you'd like to add to your three for 10? I think you said you're gonna go back and see if there's something else um, that you'd like to add. I'll take good care of it. Oh, it made it all this way. It made it to Las Vegas. Now my living cactus and my living air plants, I gave to my stepmom. I was really sad to part with those, but I feel really happy knowing that this is gonna go to you and Ron, because I really, really enjoyed it. So I had on my windowsill um, in Minnesota, I had this in the middle of my windowsill that always said clean, and then I had this one, and then I had two air plants. I had a cactus and a little yellow planter um, that 
at the store they kind of like glued on those little status or stratus dried flowers they glued on some yellow flowers and then i had another cactus in a in a planter i think it was a white planter so that's what i had on my windowsill i had like uh four living the glass and then i had this in the middle i feel like i might have had one other thing and i always kept it on this side clean i never put it on the dirty side <laughs> yes you guys well thank you guys so much for being here um we may start going twice a week but i definitely have to get more organized if you guys are watching on replay thank you so much for um watching and fast forwarding to this point um and thanks for being here you guys yes doggy boy is with family Doggy boys with family living his best outside ranch life in Denver. Doggy boy lives in Denver with my sister-in-law's family. It will come to Arizona and I will box it up and its final home will be West Virginia. So it will be a traveling cactus for sure. You hear that from Minnesota to Las Vegas to Arizona to West Virginia. That's what your fate is, little one. <laughs> Kiss by the famous Oscar. Ah, uh, I love you guys. Thank you guys all so, so much for being here. If you would like to add on anything to your order or if you'd like to order after the fact, um, DM me. Email me, bunnybirdygator at gmail. Um, whatever didn't sell is still available. If there's anything you're looking for, just let me know. I sound like my uh, my YouTube dad, Ben Mala. <laughs> I tell my family. I said, that's my YouTube dad. That's my YouTube dad. Check him out, Ben Mala. I love his um, financial jewels that he gives, his real estate jewels. Yeah. I sounded like my YouTube dad for a second. Love that guy, man. Love that guy. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Mwah. Thanks for being here, you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.